Пошли. Все в месте. Какие ваши доказательства? Кокаином. That people, uh, I was actually surprised. Already, people lined up in the uh, the chat on YouTube, ready to to, to jump into this. Oh, they like all prepared before we even got like went live. This. That's amazing. <laughs> you know what it is? It's it's holding a schedule. People yes. know when we're gonna go. Hello, hi, friend. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. Oh, yeah, your hair is amazing. Thank you. I keep trying to tell you, you know my name, be kicking y'all ass. Just say Olay. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> make y'all lives easy. Because it isn't it like yeah. but thank you, Miami? These are my Bantu knots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> earlier, my hair was different, and I was like, ooh, I feel like I feel like giving them some Bantu knots. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't really fuck them up. <laughs> Illuminati just chopped, uh, dropped in chat and said, I'm there in spirit. I love you all so much. Oh, we love you too. That's right. Illuminati not, not here this week, but it sounds like next week, next week, I think she's back, right? I believe so, yeah. We can we can finally uncancel Illuminati. Uh happy to have her back. <laughs> I so so she said that she is um building a new computer. So she has to be able to run the program to generate the avatar for the chat too. So just to kind of give you mm. all a bit of an explanation so it's it's not as easy as like one of us just kind of like jumping in since she uses the avatar but um yeah we're all super happy to have her back because she really does provide the structure to the show that i think is that the viewers have said is necessary i think we do fine but we i think, love, we I do think, love I think we're getting i think we're getting used to it now like we I think don't, so too. but it i'm fine having you know q a or, and topics as well right yeah so uh was yeah. nice i miss structure Structure is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can we can try to some structure right now. So this is the intro. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I am David from the Rational National. Here is Mike Figueredo of the Humanist Report. Here is Olay of uh, as a, a journalist and a uh, a public defender. And here is Lance of the Surfs. And uh, I believe we're going to be having Matt Bender. Matt Bender is always a late joiner, so he'll yes. he'll come in. And yes. uh, and that should be it at that point, right? Yeah, I would yes. love. I thought, I thought I was like missing somebody for a second. Like, for, for black people Someone everywhere, <laughs> for black people everywhere, I would like to note my perfect attendance. I would love to know. <laughs> no, for missed the episode, always early. Ooh, look who be here. Yeah, you've never even been late. Like, I have perfect yeah. attendance, but I was late last week. Listen, By, like a minute, but still. David, do you have perfect? You know, late. Never been late or missed a, a week. There yeah. we go. Oh wow, perfect, perfect <laughs> attendance. Listen. Never gonna miss. <laughs> so this week, I feel like a lot happened in the news, and I, I have some tabs of clips here and stuff that we can maybe um, jump to if uh, we're missing things to talk about or can't think of something to talk about. Uh, but before we get to anything specific, uh, how are you all doing? <laughs> what, what went on this week? How, how you guys feeling? Oh, Laura tried to call me. Oh, Always no. getting an important call. Yeah. Uh, by the way, real quick, just some house cleaning. Um, my microphone I've noticed is like twice as loud as everyone else's. Is it better this week? Because I adjusted it before. It sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm trying to provide. I will some say, uh, Lance, you're low. Sometimes I'm not sure if. if... Am I, low. I can. I can. I can turn myself up. 
Yeah. Do you have the auto with the, there's like an auto adjust in within Streamlabs? Like when you like that should do it for you if there's a any issue, but like if you go to edit mic settings, um it should be in there. What, but what, yeah, that's how I adjusted it manually because my regular microphone, I have it cranked to the max. But if I turn it down even a little bit for whatever reason, it fucks with Streamlabs, so I have to have it cranked. Hey Matt, but it makes Hello. me super loud. How are we doing? How do I sound? Oh, okay, Being that I, I hear it. people talking about mic levels or mic. You sound great. great this week. No Sounds robot. Better. Yes. Perfect. No Louder? robot for now. Okay. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Something will will certainly happen. I'm sure. It always <laughs> does. It always well, does. Um, I, don't, I don't know why that happens because it doesn't happen during my stream. It's very weird. I don't know. It's fine right now. It, it, it was just right, last cool. week, a few a few moments. So it was weird, but oh. uh, Olay, yes. Things I cared about this week was Beyonce being robbed of her Grammy. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk? Okay, let let's start with this. Uh, David, David, am I gonna have to jump you just now to weigh you? It was, <laughs> it was, it was, let me just stop. Sorry, I felt I felt the spirit of yes, the first minute. Have to I felt it like the way you the way you stop. I was like, all right. I'm about to, Okay. All right. What's I up? think Come it's on. important. To, I think it's important to add some. Con I think it's important to add some 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 context to the conversation here. Beyonce has what the most Grammys of any artist of all time ever. Yes. Okay. She didn't get album of the year. I understand. Yes, you have a reason to complain. Harry Styles, whatever. Uh, his first album, actually, or se second or first album, was was better, I think, than his last album. Whatever. But regardless. Um, I understand your complaint, but I think it's important to couch it in. This is still the most winningest artist of all time. <laughs> the most Grammys Winningness. of all time. Winningness, and I like that. So it, it's, I find the outrage, like the, the crazy outrage, a little bizarre because that, of that alone. But that you can so fight me. <laughs> you know what? I've got to side with Ole here, that, honestly. I was never the biggest put... Beyonce stan, but as I get older, I also get gayer. And as I get gayer, I like Beyonce a lot more. <laughs> and his last up album was but, fucking But do you fire. have? But do and you have any arguments? No, no, I agree. I, actually, no, I no. Actually, have a no, lot. No, I I agree with you on the. I thought her album was fantastic. I, like mm -hmm. I thought it should have won based on who was nominated. Uh, that said, <laughs> still worth mentioning. But like there who, are people who is it that won. Point, let me there, there, people that get, there are people there that is, get completely let's, ignored. Let's, completely let's ignored. The land of what it means. For people to have you fucked up, all right. That's the land we're in. That's what you need to understand. We're already, even, and we've been in that land for a while because they've been had Beyonce fucked up. They've had her fucked up for a while now. Robert of her album of the year. Let's talk lemonade. Like this, this treachery, this particular crime has been crimed before. Okay, so that's that's, that's the seriousness. The the Grammys, they're recidivists. That's what you need to be discussing this as recidivism, <laughs> recidivism. That's what the real the real fucking issue is. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna happen I, again know, and again and again. I could make a lot of intellectual arguments. I really could. You know, I could I could I could look to the variety. I could you know really pull out from their comments and see. You know, they're like, oh, you know, anytime Beyonce does anything, this make a big deal. So you know, she just wincing so much. I didn't really listen to the album. All that, you know, all the level of hating ass nigga that's in that. Oh, yeah, not giving my girl the most coveted award. There's a lot of intellectual things that I could say, but I'm fried. So what I really want to say is... <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to say is, David, I don't want to And unless you want to die about Harry Styles... <laughs> I don't care about Harry Styles. I'm just... Go. <laughs> I'm just saying it's important to to point oh. out that she still wins Grammys. Like ta, 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 ta. that don't got shit to do this with is, in China. No, but That's this is we're talking about. We're talking about this motherfucking Grammy. The but one are people. we wanted to win is album of the year. There, there are artists that got completely ignored. The, so the weekend had an album out a, a couple a couple years ago. The weekend he like dominated the charts the entire year. In addition to that album being amazing, was not even nominated for a single Grammy. Not uh, a I'm gonna, si I, 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 sing, I not one Grammy. I want to, I, I want to jump in and here. And we're talking I, like I pop sort of... star of the year level, like okay. set, like in sales, and like the 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 stuff he put out was amazing. Not a single nomination. So I, that that is a robbing. I, no I, I think no, no one's denying that the Grammys no are wants criminals. <laughs> yes, lots of Negroes have have solid solid criminal complaints against the Grammys. You're absolutely right. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, but I can't be everybody's attorney. I am here in representation <laughs> of Beyonce, nigga. Okay? Beyonce, it's, impor- it's, a, it's important. It's important for context. Here. I'm just saying it's important for context. Like there, there's mean, there's robbed and then there is robbed. Like that's I, that's what I'm saying. I think that the the sort of uh, obsession by the fandoms about award shows is kind of ridiculous because these are all just insanely successful people to begin with. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they win an award or not. But one thing that always bothered me... Hello, non-Negro people here today. No, no, I'm not talking about Beyonce. I'm That's talking awesome. about. I'm talking broadly. I'm talking to. I'm talking. If black woman ain't won that award since 1994. I'm not talking about Beyonce. For us, and it could be different. I'm talking the resident I'm, Negro. No. I'm talking broadly all the fandoms, the Taylor Swift people who get mad when she doesn't win, all those people. But oh, don't mess me, with fans. Oh, for, for, for me specifically though, the the Matt, talk about K-pop. Talk talk about K-pop no, stands. But, 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 <laughs> but Grammy, the Grammy specifically are the worst of them all because all the other award shows like the academy awards or the golden globes or whatever those award shows tend to focus on actual sort of like the 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 production the story not necessarily the most popular or the or the or the most uh the actors that all the people go to the box office for or the big budget stuff the grammys just seem to go by who sells the most? Who makes the most money for their record labels? Who's the most popular? It doesn't seem to actually deal with who actually makes the best music or who's the so, best singer or any of that stuff. What I'm hearing it's is very whole, weird. What I'm hearing is I'm co-hosting a show with a whole lot of niggas that's not in the beehive. That's what I'm hearing. That's, that's no, what I'm hearing. No, no, that's please. Like don't pull me like that. <laughs> don't do it, please. I'm not ready. I can't take this on. <laughs> <laughs> I know my point is like the Marvel movies, the Star Wars movies, the right, big Matt, budget wrong. box office Matt, movies. Wrong, they, never, okay? they never win awards because technically, based on uh, movie production, there are better films out there that don't make a lot of money, that have better acting, that don't make a lot of money. And those other award shows tend to look at those smaller movies by smaller directors mm-hmm. sometimes, I do think uh, this is, no-name right. actors sometimes, and they give them awards for actually being the best in that field for that year. The Grammys don't do that. It's all about who the most popular artists it's, it's are. Pop, it, it, it's it's about all music. about yeah. who sells the most mm-hmm. records. I mean, that's not what awards should... I mean, award shows are lame to begin with no matter what, but that's definitely not how awards should be handed out, in my opinion. How should they be handed out, Matt? I agree. I just said I think, based uh, on based on the awards... The, out of all the oh, awards, yeah. the, a, a Grammy means the least, in my opinion, because of that yeah. alone. It, it, is, it is purely about pop music. Were they not forever delegitimized when they snubbed Kendrick Lamar for Macklemore? Yeah, I mean, yes. at I, that I point, agree with this. you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're done again. Forever. They have, yes, yes. We're, we're back, to, back to what I keep talking about, recidivism. Y'all all care mm-hmm. about crime so much until we need to talk about the crime and matter. Like, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. This is what I'm saying. Yes, we're fucking good of it. Yes. And I'm talking about that's the, the point. It is to the felony crimes they keep getting off. Yes. Care, no, okay? that's exactly right. That, so, yeah, you're, you're on our side then. That, it's not just about Beyonce, it's about all of the nah, artists. Nah, that's, what <laughs> that's what you're saying. It isn't I just about mean, Beyonce, it's about everybody. I, uh, I am in. It Wait. Beyonce, Beyonce, Giselle Carter, like, sir, <laughs> no, it is, it's about, it's, a, it's about Beyonce, okay? I'm, um, I'm, 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 um, and I, I just want to say, I, I see the people in the chat who said, let it go, Ole, oh my, I won't, I, I, I won't ever, I'll, I'll allow us to move on, because like I said, I'm fried, but um, in my heart, <laughs> I will never let it go. It's a fucking robbery. Y'all can quote me. <laughs> All right. And I better not see none of y'all, none of y'all at a Renaissance concert because y'all don't got the right kind of act, right? Y'all are not true behind. But listen, <laughs> like me, my I, I, I can assure you, could, you will never see me to at a to Renaissance one. concert. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can't afford it. <laughs> y'all are the kind of people I thought you were. <laughs> like, what's that? You see, you see Tariq Assam, you see 
Tariqa saw him in the comments that Beyonce is so overrated. Like, why why lie? Like, this is my thing. This is the thing. No, no, no. And all those aside. Objectively, why mathematically, lie? scientifically. Why <laughs> lie? Wrong. Who is doing it like Beyonce? Why fucking lie? Who the fuck is doing it like Beyonce? Why are y'all lying? Like, I don't know why people get off on thinking like it's cool, it's trendy to be like, I don't like Beyonce. I don't like Beyonce music. I hate Beyonce over it. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like, stop it. Stop lying. Hey, Beyonce hey, is a great problem. Beyonce. Hey, Beyonce. People, half the people who win an award over Beyonce stop to give you a little speech about what Beyonce meant to them. Hey, I was skipping school in fifth grade to go see Beyonce. Oh, I love Beyonce. I am in the beehive because she's a great bro. She's objectively great. The bitch has been doing it for you know how long? You know how long? In the uh, second grade, I, I will say it all night to record her, do a um at uh, Michael Jackson tribute concert. Second grade, I turned to 30 this year. She's been killing it. For that long, you do you understand? <laughs> okay, so Beyonce's overrated. No, she's not. You're a hater. I will say, as someone I who is, is critical, uh, is critical of this outrage. I I agree with you, Beyonce. Like uh, her album this year was like I I loved it. Like if I Listen, like, but it... you guys are not considering <laughs> that people like Harry Styles usually don't win. <laughs> <laughs> The great thing about that album was, was he like said the, that, the, not me. I'm the, 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 the true 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 He said that. Yes, that's what he said when he won the award. Not yes, he did. He said that when he won the award. He said people like him don't and usually win these yeah. awards. That, that was really yeah. weird. What does mean? <laughs> and his little fans are like, "Y'all don't get it." He means because his background, he was poor. Oh, oh come on! I, no. I, I, I thought maybe he means because he was in a boy band. He really got it out the mud. Is that is that what he meant? I mean, hasn't Justin band? Timberlake won a Grammy? Yeah, assuming? so even I'm, in that, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> See, I'm not a fan of Harry Styles. I've got to be frank. The the fans can come after after me, but um, I only know the culture. I'm not a fan. That's about it. I just know the one song that was on TikTok for all of 2022, the fucking watermelon song. I fucking hate that shit. Um, and just because of that, I I, I hate him. I, I can't stand him. I he had never crossed my black ass radar. Like he was now irrelevant. Like I realized, like tangentially, that he is a thing. And but I never like heard his music, know him, have any like thoughts um or or, or ill will towards the young man. Um, the first time I've ever seen of him or his music was at the Grammys where he performed, and that was mid as fuck. And that's the God's mm -hmm. honest truth because I tweeted that before before he robbed Beyonce, and I had no idea. I didn't even have the foresight. I'm not I'm not psychic. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. So I knew that was mid. Um, I I forgot I forgot who I saw say this, but it's it's completely changed how I view uh, British entertainers. And it was how like in America there is, I don't, and I don't know if this is the same for the music industry. So I don't know if this is, uh, uh, you know, relevant to Harry Styles, but it could be. But in like uh, um, film, uh, there are working class American actors. You know, a lot of actors uh, struggle to, you know, uh, uh, our, you know, uh, uh, low wage jobs to just make, try to make it. And most of them don't, but a lot of British actors, um, where they all like, for example, like names like, uh, Cumberbatch aren't exactly working class names in Britain, in mm. England, actors actually go through very expensive schooling and usually come from very wealthy old money families and they don't have that same sort of working class background uh like america a lot of american actors do uh so that changed my outlook on a lot of british entertainers i don't know if it's the same for harry styles i'm assuming that if you uh get uh he's a into... terrible actor so probably not <laughs> but i mean I'm, but music wise i'm assuming that if you get uh brought into a boy band which uh, by its very, uh, you know, the creation of a boy band or these groups like this, these pop groups, they're always created by some uh, wealthy producer. No, like it's not was, like they're just like struggling underground artists. No, like it, how it, like this uh, this was different in the sense that that it was on television. It was like one of their British reality shows. So it was it was like American oh. Idol, but like like for British bands. So he, he, I think he does actually come from a working class background, but. Who cares? Like, whatever. <laughs> like, making the band. <laughs> still, but I'm like... such a boomer. I hate to admit this, that the first time that he really came on my radar, like, I knew of him, but the first time he actually got my attention was because fucking Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens were triggered that he wore a dress. And he yeah. rocked it. Sam Smith? He, he could pull that off. But, like, that's Harry how Styles. I know him. Oh, that's Styles. how old I am. It's sad. And also how rotten my brain is, that that's how I learn about a musician, is because a right-winger brought them up because 
they're mad that he did something. It's it's a uh, it's amazing. And speaking oh, of yeah, um, yeah. outrage, I was gonna did say you see all the Sam Smith? Yeah, and I I just want to say this: I had not heard that song yet. I had not heard that song or anything, and they smoked that performance. Like I was like, this song goes mm. fucking crazy. I immediately got it. I was like, I tweeted it. I was like, yo, they performing their ass off. This is. And I you just are now, a, a, and, and you now worship Satan. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, they're so they're lit. Honestly, you know what's ridiculous, right? Like, um, um, what's ridiculous is I'm sorry, I'm fried. Give me a second. I read the chat and I tried to think and it it it, it cross wired in my brain. <laughs> all right, boom, I'm back. For all of my life, right? They've had a bunch of performers on shows I don't care nothing about, right? When they put on country music, whatever, I mute the TV. Hey, just trying to go do something else or whatever. I don't I don't know who it is. I'm not whatever. If you have such a problem with the fucking performance, why does it seem to be the one that you are glued to the TV, you replay it, you talking, you dragging so much engagement to? Like they are just such like the the performative outrage they do all the time, just to have like their thinly veiled bigotry. Like, give me a fucking break. Like, mm-hmm. also, like, you know what I'm starting to realize? We're not much different as a as a society. We really are not. We're not that far along from medieval days of people calling music secular. You know, like that's when you think about it. Like we're doing the idea, satanic panic like, again. Yeah, so like yeah. I somebody put on some fucking red leather and some horns. You're like Satan. Really? Yeah. That's all it takes to bring Satan. Yeah. Satan? <laughs> you can summon Satan. Just off yeah. that, if, off if, you're, if you're if you're the prince of lies, the prince of darkness, the antichrist, I would think it would be a little more difficult, you know. But like it's, it's just the color red. Mm, Here is a oh, yeah. Terry Schilling. Yeah. Something evil about the red and black color scheme we see throughout history and have been seeing more of lately. So someone photoshopped Biden onto the stage here. It, oh, that's a Photoshop. Have... I thought Joe Biden was. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, that was. <laughs> <laughs> And then I saw this great reply to this uh, saying, conservatives, the left melts down and whines about anything so triggered. Also conservatives, the colors red and black make me so scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh, just, yeah. it's so, yeah. You should it's, see how they run from refracted light. Right. Like if it's, if it's a rainbow, nothing scares conservatives more than a little True. refracted light. It's wild. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Oh, my God. Um, moving off of say, the Grammys. Say, 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 say it in love. Wait, his plastic horns from Party did, City. Did it, did anyone say uh, Viola Davis got uh, EGOT? That that's pretty good news. We can all agree upon, right? That's right. That's pretty, yeah. We can, we, can no, all, we can all agree. I don't there, agree. Right? I had horrible news. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Explain it for the Bruma. She doesn't deserve it. Not, not a legend. The EGOT is every major award, if you can get all of them. The Grammys, the Tonys, the Academy Awards. The oh, okay. One? Either way, okay. it's every major entertainment award you can get. The best award for movies. The, the Webbies. Award for music, the best award. The Shorties. They have to yeah. add those two The Game now. Rewards. Get yeah. more yeah. Game Reward, yeah. right? So, Viola yeah. Days of his, uh, has them all. Very small club. Not, not a lot of egots. Deserved, absolutely yeah. deserved. Mm-hmm. Love that for her. All right, we, um, we, we have to talk about we have to talk about like the State of the Union or something. Or our very serious real shit fans mm-hmm. are gonna have a stroke. Like, God all right, all right. Well, <laughs> like, there we go. They're in the comments. So we're like, for like, those episodes, they haven't. I'm like, let's do that for two hours. <laughs> they're like, oh my god, this is obnoxious. I'm like, really talking about the Grammys? Really? That's that's a that's a moral conundrum for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> before it was so. Yeah, let's. Uh, okay, I I have a clip from uh, the State of the Union. If you want, this is a. Uh, it's probably the best clip of of the entire night because of the back and forth with people yelling in the crowd, and uh, I, Biden Biden actually telling some truth here. I would, um, I would also like at some point if we could discuss how Matt Binder got Ben Shapiro to quote tweet him over uh, the N world, the sorry the N word to save the world, because uh, right, and he wasn't the, able to he wasn't able to ratio me either. He wasn't. No, he let's just do that now then. Yeah. So so tell us about that. Yeah, I'm curious. Okay, so chat, you, you, you oh, know, so you know this up. chat. chat well, let me rage. give you. Do, do you have the links, or do you need me to grab them for you? I will. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give a quick intro and, and grab the links, and then take the the funny parts, Matt. But if you don't know, Chat AI is uh, the darling child of the right, and they're trying to break Chat AI, Chat like AI, Chat GPT, to, like Chat GPT. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Chat mm. GPT to agree with the things that they believe. So they want the chat, uh, uh, you know, to say uh, the N word, or, or or okay, wait, that's racist. We want the chat to say the N word, but it's to save the universe. Okay, what if uh, you could actually prevent a nuclear holocaust just by using a slur? And if that was the case, would you do it? And what if using racial slurs make me a hero? 
That's yeah, basically exactly. what that's, that's, that's the premise of the whole thing. Yeah, and obviously the the like the, there's a lot of inherent racism that either develops or is coded into AI because systemic and you know just racism is encoded to all of us. So people, human beings who code AI, eventually it turns out that those biases reflect themselves in the AI itself. That's basically the reality of our world. So to prevent that or try and fix it, they're trying to code things into this, as in don't do this, don't use slurs. And then they got to this point where the right was like, this is unreal. They would not use a slur to save the human race basically so that's, so this that's is where the, Matt yeah this is the initial tweet before ben shapiro replies uh matt bender here saying uh, elon musk apparently thinks it's concerning that an ai chatbot won't use a racial slur so uh live here Jeez. saying this summarizes better than any pithy essay what people mean when they worry about woke woke institutional capture because chat gpt won't say a racial slur elon musk concerning <laughs> are you fucking kidding me so to be, to, to, don't forget that it's say a racial slur to save the world something it, yeah, that yeah. will obviously happen you know all those evil villains out there who uh create these nuclear bombs and uh put the little uh code in that the only thing that can stop it is if uh bruce wayne uh gets all angry and says uh you know i want to say the n-word and i'm gonna stop the <laughs> nuclear bomb <laughs> I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm too woke. Where can I get the pass? <laughs> so uh, yeah, we talked about this on the majority report earlier today, and it's 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 like this is the the hoops that they jump through just because they want to say. They, like, we we understand this too. Like I mean, they could say the word. They could say it right now. What they oh, don't course. want is to deal with any sort of the societal consequences of saying that word. And yeah. even, and in this specific scenario, again, I mean, I was joking about it before, but it's truly what they're saying. They not only want to be able to say it without any consequences, they want to say it and be lauded for it. They want to be hoisted up on people's shoulders and paraded around town because they said the N word or whatever other racial slurs they dream of saying about saying at night. It's un. This, it's this like is the first time I'm hearing this. And like, I, I just I just have to restate because I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. Conservatives are literally concocting stories like fabrications so that way it would be morally permissible Trolley no problems. necessary to use the n-word like that's that's where we're at in the discourse in america and ben shapiro's like seriously unironically saying that I, yeah so for those listening i want to minecraft the, myself to the actual actual podcast um ben shapiro uh replies to matt bender quote tweets and says uh, I'll try. I'll I'll try the voice. I'll see if I can do the voice. It is extra <clears throat> funny if you read it in his voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you are either illiterate or morally illiterate, and therefore cannot understand why it would be so bad to prioritize avoiding a racial slur over saving millions of people in a nuclear apocalypse. So that's his reply. <laughs> As if this, yeah. I mean, you guys said everything already. As if this is like a real scenario. So ridiculous. David, I made a movie wow. poster. I sent it to you. Wait, but then, but then, hold on. Movie, he he said he says yeah. this about about this uh, this Just basically there. this this thought experiment. That's what this is. They love their fucking hypotheticals and their thought mm -hmm. experiments. But the next day, I just dropped the link in the chat here. Pull up this video from Ben Shapiro's show. This is the day after saying how important this thought experiment about saying a racial slur to save the world and stop a nuclear bomb how important this hypothetical is Say the slur. and here the slur. is what he's saying on his podcast the very next day um there are 40 million black americans in this country and the number of black americans who are shot well unarmed in the united states every year is maybe two dozen on the high end if you are deeply worried every time you get in a car that you're going to get shot by a cop, you are, you are misprioritizing your worries. You are statistically inaccurate in your worries. By the way, I, I was under the impression that pretty much everybody, like in driver's ed, is told how to handle it when a cop pulls you over. You keep your hands on the steering wheel. You don't reach for the glove compartment because there might be a gun in there and cops have to be on their guard, for example. I was given that talk by my parents. It's and I was like a middle to upper middle class Jewish kid. Okay, you can stop right, it. Yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah, you can stop it there. Yeah, go, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, I can't, I can't put up with this gremlin today. Like, first of all, <laughs> I don't know why. And I and I and this is in all seriousness. This is why we need to start framing the argument as 
the problem with police brutality is not just that it is a racial problem. It is not just a black problem. I need you to care about it as a favor to us. But the problem is that this is a police state because police, the fact that regardless of what you want to say, whatever you're talking about, yo, there are 365 days in the year. The police kill, and this is according to mapping police violence that tracks this, go to the website. 1,192 people were killed by the police last year. That's the stats. That's what they admit to. That's, that's just the facts. So whether or not, and it is just statistically the truth that black people are killed at a disproportionately higher rate. That's true. But regardless, police are in fact brutalizing and killing people every fucking day in this country. That is happening all over the country. The foolishness of being like, oh, there isn't a reasonable reason to fear them as a black person. Or, you know, black people are just making this up or pretending that this is a bigger issue. Nonsense. N absolute fucking nonsense foolishness hogwash and all of this is performative at the end of the day they know this mm -hmm. all this stupidness everything that they're doing everything they say they're just a bunch of bigots all of it is a thinly veiled performance act it's the politics of gaslighting they fucking know that all the foolishness all with the racial slur they know what it is they want to live in a world where it was okay for them to be racist in the majority and no one could say anything about their character about it they want to live in the times of where oh they could put out their racist media they could put out their racist stereotypes they could put out their racist comments and they still get to say, I am a good such and such Christian mm -hmm. and I'm going to heaven and every blah, 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 blah. And nobody, nobody criticizes it. That's what it is. That's all that they want. And so they now they find all this foolish reasons to tap dance around it just to stress people out. But they know what the fuck they're doing. All this is a bunch of foolishness. This melting face, little fucking pug talking shit. <laughs> So, right. Hey, now, I just, pugs I just, are I very just... sweet as a pug dad. That is a pug face, man. <laughs> you want to have a pug face? Pug. Do you want to be a melting pug face man? Look at his face. Look at his lip. They're not melting? Where the line? Where the line? His lip's not melting. What's the melting man? I thought this was watching or no? I thought, no, that's even really the play anymore. But I just thought, I just thought like, the the like Ooh, the, you know the, the, like? the the comparing his thing with the chat GPT with that. Like in Ben Shapiro's world, uh, black people having worries about police brutality and getting pulled over in their car and getting shot. That's a statistical anomaly, misprioritizing your worries, worried about a chat bot, not saying that it would shout racial slurs to stop a nuclear warhead. That's very concerning and something to really worry about. That's a legitimate concern. I, I can't mean, believe that this is the discourse. And they're yeah. like seriously, adamantly saying, no, no, listen, if it was to save the world from nuclear apocalypse, then of course it would be morally necessary. Like I want to use the voice, but David does it so much better. But like I'm thinking <laughs> of his logic, like him thinking through these steps in his head and getting outraged. It's just, this is such clown shit. How have I not heard about this, by the way? Like I'm deep in this world. My oh, brain really? is rotted. Yeah, I mean, a lot happened this week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Mike, Mike did you did you see that clip of the Disney Plus show that is just like it's it's just like it's just history. Oh, it's the Proud very Family. Well. Yeah, the Proud Family clip where they're basically talking no. about the history of like you know America. It, it, it's it's like it's an unapologetic telling of the history of slavery, how slaves built America. All Mike, are you stuff. sure actually... you weren't frozen in time for the past couple of weeks? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I don't know how, I don't know how you missed this one, but oh, every yeah. every yeah. single pundit came out. Yeah, they were all talking oh, about how this is anti-white racism. Really this whole crazy. segment hates white making white people hate themselves all this kind of stuff I was like i've not is, seen that in the other country I, I like, ratioed that tweet. I just want to say that. <laughs> nice. I sure the fuck did, okay? I ratioed tens of thousands, baby. I, uh, yes, 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 yes. I definitely. Yeah, they, listen. Hell yeah. Honestly, here's the thing what they don't understand. And honestly, they do get it because we make the mistake on our side all the time of out of outrage, falling into the outrage dance and making oh, things yeah. bigger than they need to. At the end of the day, young nigga, listen here, white people. The Proud family has been around for more than 20 years. Okay, Sugar Mama, this is a fucking reboot. It's called The Bigger the Blacker. You know what I mean? Or the Bigger the Prouder. It was always a black ass show and it made all the promises to come back black as fuck. It was all giving it up like, yeah, 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 yeah. The Proud Family, we were watching this. This is a show from my childhood. Destiny's Child did the theme song from when they were brand new Destiny's no Child. That's yeah, awesome. bro. Yes, white people. This is why you have to have a resident black friend here to teach you. <laughs> the Proud Family is a solidified black classic. This is a new <laughs> All they could do for it is make it bigger because look, 
Now all y'all white people knew it. Now look at all that. Oh, you should have I, seen all I, I just want to point out that I'm cool. I'm familiar with the Proud family. Yeah, I'm, not like, I'm not like I'm not like these three other white boys. <laughs> You're a good ally. We're good allies. <laughs> So honestly, they can, all they did was outrage. All of us already knew. All the so all the people that watched the Proud Family, the entire Proud Family demographic, we already was watching the Proud Family. This is a staple for us. And now you have put it, you've just put it on bigger eyes. So thank you. Thank you, crazy, stupid ass, dumb ass conservatives for your performative nonsense outrage. The viewers, the engagement, the people behind the scenes of the Proud Family, we thank you. Thank you. That was excellent. Appreciate it. That was actually a good thing. In my yeah. defense, um, my family I, never had cable. We were too poor, so I didn't have Disney or Nickelodeon. So all that I got was like PBS and like the shitty shows. Like, uh, does anyone remember Pepper Ann? And like, Pepper Ann went crazy. Don't you talk shit about Pepper Recess. Ann. No, I mean, like, comparatively <laughs> speaking, like, Disney Channel was A+. plus. Like, I was getting, uh, like... Disney Channel was, uh, the... Uh, no, they weren't the... You mean, they, you see, Nickelodeon was always better Disney Mike, at Mike, TV shows. Yeah. Mike, you see me playing you a song on the world's smallest... <laughs> 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 I'm Canadian, so I was I don't know deprived. What the is, okay, we had we had YTV and the family. What was it? The Family yeah. Channel? Was that what it was? Yeah, the, yeah, we had yeah. the Family Channel. There we go. Mm. You had you had Degrassi, Degrassi High School, Degrassi College, Degrassi, <laughs> Degrassi Two Point kind of like, like, Degrassi like, Millennial my, my Edition. <laughs> Mike, I I never I never had cable either because my parents thought it was like really bad for you. Did you ever do mm. this thing as a kid where you grab like wires and put them in the TV and find the local like RF channels? Like that's how I watched The Simpsons. No. I would like hold a, a wire to get the like the free local channel that played it, and until like we could get enough reception. No, no, I yeah. didn't do that. It's like I got some exposure to it at my friend's house because she always had cable. But um, oh, okay. but no, other than that, like I was always very envious. Like I thought Disney you, was very based in Nickelodeon, and yeah, what's it, what's you were up? doing that for The Simpsons. I was doing that for like Playboy well, TV on know. the illegal <laughs> cable box. <laughs> <laughs> I got it so hard to see the boober penis. I don't know. <laughs> no, The Simpsons was on Fox, like a local Fox affiliate. So I got The Simpsons. Um. You didn't need cable for that, at least where I lived. But um, I still, you know, I had a great childhood. I watched TGIF, uh, Recess, very, very good. Um, oh, Ole, how I dare never, you? Recess. How dare you? I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I just never fucked with it. I did like the John Jacob Jingle, I Smith little, like that little bit. They did that. That was cute. But other than that, I, mm. didn't, I didn't fuck with Recess for real. Mm. You know, see, that was like one of my faves, and uh, I forgot, like, I can't remember what like my all time favorites were, but it was always like when I could see it, like SpongeBob. Right. Like, yeah, I didn't get to watch it as much, but when I did, it was like Seventh Heaven. And when they started releasing the VHS tapes oh, at the library, my, oh, like, yeah, you watch all the broke ass cartoons. I see all the broke ass. <laughs> when you said Seventh Heaven, I said, oh, okay. Suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw your childhood real clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you said seventh heaven. I said, "Oh, this nigga Wait. was dreaming about a better life." <laughs> <laughs> there was a show called Seventh Heaven too, by the way. I don't know if you all saw it, but that was a banger. <laughs> have you uh, Have you ever heard of Seventh Heaven? Is it, it, isn't I the main think... actor that in that show now like something's? He's, he's like a criminal, I think. He's a child molester. Yes. That's what yes. it is. <laughs> yes. There's some clips that are so golden. I wish that we could play them, but I think it would get copyright claimed. Yeah, we, but like, we can't do that. There's one instance where like one of the kids was caught, I think, hanging out with someone who smoked a joint. And like they had a whole family meeting and was like, what is this? And like the music was all serious. He's like, what is this? <laughs> And, and like he just like straight up screamed, "Tell me what this is! This is marijuana!" And like it was it was fucking so oh like unironically God. hilarious, like one of the most hysterical things ever. Um, if you hey. haven't been Seventh Heaven, look it up and Google the marijuana clip specifically because it's so good. It's so good. You gotta see it. Lots of gotta... nostalgia in the chat here. Bobby's World, hell yeah! I watched Bobby's mm. World. Gargoyles, that's yeah. right. I, I, I watch Gargoyles. I watch Bobby's World. I love the angry. I actually have an Angry Beavers. Um. Oh, let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me. Let me. Let me show you all my Angry Beavers stuff. One second. <laughs> we got a we gotta talk about real real news as well too though because I love like Dexter's Amer Lab. I we will get the real news. Dexter's Lab, amazing. I have Dexter's well, Lab. I work at my apartment. I'm, like, didn't like this is an intense week. Didn't you Americans just get attacked by China? That's what I saw over here. 
apparently in the form of like balloon aviation direct oh, we've given them spy software <laughs> yeah, we forgive oh that's cool. oh, the angry it's beavers i remember the angry my, little, vinyl. my little sister has the other one um, the you Canadians one. would have liked Bobby's world. I bet you guys had the hots for it. Bobby's mom because of her accent. <laughs> I, can't remember. I, 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 I don't get that joke because I'm just, don't, don't, I can't remember don't what you know. it's oh, That's all okay, I remember. So no. You don't, you don't remember? Like Bobby, oh. don't you know? Uh, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, they were in Wisconsin, I, I think, right? Yeah. I believe. I really liked oh, Bobby's yeah. world a lot. Uh, that was like one of my mains. Someone to mention. To to people in Dave, uh, sorry, David's chat talking about um, Ren and Stimpy. I loved Ren and Stimpy, and I don't want to shatter your world. The creator of Ren and Stimpy is a massive weirdo creep. So yeah, uh, is that surprising? Did, did you watch Ren and Stimpy? That's not shocking. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Fair. The show is okay. A little, uh, a little it, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's oh. like, fair, but. It, it just sucks. It just sucks. It, it seems like a lot of people in the animation industry turn out to be massive weirdos like, who are just trying so much, to groom kids and shit. And, and like so stop doing too much research. That's y'all's own problem. Stop going down the monkey. Stay out of their people business. Just focus on your life. <laughs> 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 I can't ignore that Justin Roiland is like a no massive one weirdo one now. You know? told you to know that. And now you share it with You're selfish. That's what you are. You're selfish. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not trying to take other people's childhoods away. I'm not a child I vampire. I swear. I swear. I'm not a childhood vampire. Enjoy what you enjoy. It just it sucks. It just sucks that what keeps happening. It's happening with more frequency now or something. I don't know what it is. Someone mentioned the pop up girls, and I don't know if you know, but I I regularly talk about the pop up girls is real propaganda. When you realize them bitches is agents of the state, you know, police brutality. Anyway, I actually <laughs> recently commissioned a fire ass Mojo Dojo abolitionist piece. But anyway, look at it. Like a, it is, Whoa. Like, yes, canvas painting. It look how fire it is. Wow, that is nice. Defoster art. On Instagram, yes, it's gonna be so nice. fire when I go to my living room. Yes, I love the pop of girls. I'm actually, and I'm getting a piece like y'all know my little dragon, my Dragon Ball Z pieces. I have in my living room, my Piccolo, my Frieza, my Yamcha, and my Bulma. I'm gonna get um him and Fuzzy Lumpkin from the pop of girls in the same way, but behind bars. Listen, mm. my living room goes crazy. In my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some cartoon art. <laughs> oh yeah, so people are bringing up a... reboot. This is a left turn, but uh, there's a great Elon Musk story that that dropped today, and I, I got a oh, quote. I got to so pull a couple good. quotes from this because it is it's hilarious. So good. Uh, oh, if y'all don't know or haven't I haven't read the article, it is it's golden, start to finish. It is good. Yeah. You, one, once again, just like a petulant man, baby billionaire who has surrounded right. himself with yes men and can't take no. So uh, basically, Elon Musk is angry because he thinks he's uh, his tweets aren't getting out to a lot of people. So on Tuesday, Musk gathered a group of engineers and advisors into a room at Twitter's headquarters looking for answers. Why are his engagement numbers tanking? This is ridiculous, he said, according to multiple sources with direct knowledge of the meeting. Quote, I have more than 100 million followers and I'm only getting tens of thousands of impressions. One of the company's two remaining principal engineers offered a possible explanation for Musk's declining reach just under a year after the Tesla CEO made a surprising offer to buy Twitter for $44 billion. That interest, so that the... the that public interest is waning, basically. It is antics. So people are getting tired of his antics, what was what the engineer suggested. Uh, employees showed Musk internal data regarding engagement with his account, along with a Google Trends chart. Last April, they told him Musk was at peak popularity in search rankings, indicated by a score of 100. Today, he's at a score of 9. Engineers had previously investigated whether Musk's reach had somehow been artificially restricted, but found no evidence that the algorithm was biased against him. Musk did not take the news well. You're fired. You're fired, Musk told the engineer. <laughs> this motherfucker deadass thinks he really deadass thinks he's a character on billions. Like, this is really crazy. Uh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's outrageous. Like, he's, I told you all from day one what it boils down to. Now, I'm going to say it again. This motherfucker is a loser. A loser. Mm -hmm. A loser. Bro, the fucking app has glitches for days. Nigga, fix the app. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. There's tons of glitches. You're about your engagement, nigga. That's not the point of owning Twitter. Like, this is not a. Bro, what? You try to buy friends? First of all, we hate you. For you look like you <laughs> like I, I hate you, you you ghastly ghoul like creature. Fuck you, bro. We hate you. That's why we're not even interested no more. You don't fucked up the app. It's shitty now. You do bullshit all the time. You letting people write long treatises like Edgar Allan Poe all over the fucking app. This shit is crazy. What the fuck are you doing? Well, nigga? I don't I don't know if Edgar Allan Poe is known for writing lengthy material. Like, what the fuck? No, it's, 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 
upsetting. He's a loser. Like you are you out your focus. That's crazy. You wondering why it's bro, you fuck the app up. It doesn't work anymore. The app doesn't work like that, bro. It like it has mad glitches. You find it out staff. It's 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 literally breaking down crumbling. Weren't they all trying to to hide like to put their accounts under locked like protected tweets to see if that would heighten right. engagement? Like there was yes. a whole like but, like Elon Musk was like yeah. testing this as opposed to maybe I don't know having people Tem- <laughs> look the, into the, this. The thing and, is like, that people literally it does sometimes uh, increase engagement because of the fact that you've locked your account and that brings more people towards you just as a attention grabber. But that's but that's, so but that's also it, it, not possible to. But that's also doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make any sense, sense because you're locked out from people who don't. You're locking out people who don't follow you. So just by that yes. uh, oh, metric, you wouldn't see it. But the only reason he so people were reporting that for for months that all of a sudden their tweets were getting more engagement when um, they lock their, they account. lock their accounts. But he didn't decide to test it out until he saw Ian Miles Chong <laughs> tweet about it. Bro. Oh, I thought it was Cat Turd. No, <laughs> no, it was Ian Miles. It's either oh, okay. it, this one was Ian Miles Chung, but I see okay. how you can make that mistake because if it isn't tweeted out by Ian Miles Chung or Cat Turd, Elon Musk probably <laughs> won't see it. Right. I mean, the, the three biggest losers on, on Twitter, right there, just ridiculous. My thing is, I don't know <laughs> I why he's acting like he's Nelson fucking Mandela. <laughs> like, what the fuck do you think you're seeing that the whole world needs to see? Like, what important message do you think is not <laughs> what do you think you think the whole world not- needs to see? Like, true, true. Like, it's, it's not, all it's all reddit right, jokes there. 4chan copy paste yeah, like, it's true. It's not, all he does is steal memes he steals dad jokes that's right. his whole thing don't do anything. <laughs> like, there's nothing like the, the level of fucking you know uh delusions of grandale like my man oh, yeah. corn just a fucking cornball yeah did oh, you see that agree. there's another p- part in that piece that you pulled up where uh an anonymous twitter uh employee uh tells platformer that basically um, Elon Musk will wake up in the middle of the night and come running to them uh, and request or demand that they figure something out on Twitter based on a complaint from a single Twitter user. So then their it's day a is sp- captured call. Yeah. And then their day is spent. <laughs> yeah. 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 There we go. There's times he's just awake late at night and says all sorts of things that don't make sense. One employee High said. High on amphetamines most likely. And then he'll come to us and be like, this one person says they can't do this one thing on the platform. <laughs> and then we have to run around chasing some outlier use case for one person. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the 4 a.m. cat turned call. What a clown. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. And they still hate him though. Like the right still, hate still him. hates oh, him. Yeah. Cat Turd put out a tweet that got like thousands and thousands of likes, millions of impressions. Sucks. And he's like, he sucks. we might as well be invisible. I'm basically <laughs> shadow banned. It's, yeah, yeah. Everybody hates him. And I love that everybody hates him. I love that the right has turned on him. And as much well, as he's still the weird for backwards to appease them, they're oh, just yeah, there's still a lot And of I like that memes. he, at his core, knows that he's always going to be hated, even by the one tribe who was kind of open to accepting him. It, that makes me feel really good. He still has his weird nerds, the ones who uh, he does. basically, yeah. the, the ones with the, the Tesla logo as their avatar or Dogecoin, uh, the Sh- Dogecoin Shiba Inu Sir as their Doge. avatar. And they just basically suck him off in his replies all day, mm-hmm. all night, 24-7. Mm-hmm. I feel like those people- we do a couple of uh, State of the Union? Yeah, clips. we can do that. Good. So this yeah. week was the State of the Union address uh which you know it's all pageantry it's all whatever it's it's not really anything to speech but uh there was a moment that it's 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 important to know just how full of shit republicans are uh, if you don't know that already <laughs> this this moment really highlighted that so this was a uh moment during the uh the speech i'm gonna pull it up here and then i got a clip to follow up to show you just how full of crap these people are Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you anybody who doubts it. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if 
If Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks, the idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be I got to say I I you know he, he's he is still Joe Biden but he was the best Joe Biden he possibly could have been that oh, night like I, I, think I thought this he was one of his better speeches for I sure I thought he was yeah. on yeah, fire was and the way he was going back and forth with them he was doing really like this whole idea of sleepy Joe or there's something wrong with him mentally and then you turn this on as like the, the average american hearing this stuff and you watch this and you see his performance honestly i think that thing where he says i like conversion when he meant conversation i think that was his one <laughs> screw up the entire night other than that he was like not even like misspeaking he was just at the the again he still said numerous times he's a proud capitalist he's still mm -hmm. joe biden but he was the best joe biden that you know progressives could have possibly asked for that night he was there, really on fire with a lot of the moments things he brought as well up. like in the middle of the speech where he was bringing up um like very specific working class issues that that they mm -hmm. have addressed uh, at least in some way of course not even nearly enough but in terms of like uh, pharmaceuticals, they have capped the cost of insulin to 35 bucks a month for those on, on on Medicare. They tried to do it for everybody, but that was blocked by the GOP last year. So, so like he 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 brought up you know a few uh, cases of of he even brought up like you know corporate greed that kind of thing. And yes, it's yes we all understand <laughs> Democrats Biden aren't exactly honest on that issue. But the just simply the optics of the speech, which is what these speeches are all about. It's it's all about optics. I thought he did uh very well. But here so. Did you be pretending that, that they don't, you know, that they don't want to cut Social Security? And in fact, there is a uh, clip here from Mike Lee. Mike Lee, one of the faces they're freaking out. You're going to see him in this in this video. For anyone who um, wants to separate him from the rest of the pack, this is the sitting U.S. senator whose Twitter name, his Twitter handle is based Mike Lee. Oh, just oh, to I let you guys that. know that cool. yes that's his no. name that's ridiculous. yes cool. that is his legitimate twitter handle cool bro based mike lee cool. a sitting u.s senator so on the left he's freaking out about you know biden saying that they want to cut social security and listen to what he's actually said behind the scenes it will be my objective to phase out social security Denied. to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it <laughs> People who advise me politically always tell me that's dangerous, and I tell them, in that case, it's not worth my running. That's why I'm doing this, to get rid of that. Medicare and Medicaid are of the same sort and need to be pulled up. It will be... There we go. Sick Absolute son of a bitch. Shit, so dude. pretty clear. Yeah. 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 And yeah. for the other Republicans who don't say that they want to get rid of it or sunset it, they still want to cut it. Uh, I think that his name was Rick Allen. It was a Republican from Georgia who was asked... Uh, you know, why do you want to cut Social Security? And he's like, I don't want to cut Social Security. And then the reporter follows up and says, uh, well, what about raising the retirement age? And he's like, well, that's something we're considering. And it's like, that's a cut to Social Security. Like, <laughs> that's a cut, right? So they're so disingen disingenuous. Yeah. But they have to lie because their base, which is full of people who depend on Social Security, um, older people, they, like, they would never go for it. There would be so much backlash. So this is why they have to lie. This is why they were so outraged because Biden kind of blew up their game. And if Biden really wanted to like call their bluff right now, he'd call on them to introduce legislation to raise the cap on Social Security, lift the cap on taxable income specifically. And that would make Social Security solvent for decades. Will they do it? Of course not, because they There's rely a on this idea that Social Security is going bankrupt so that way they can push reforms, i.e. cuts. There's a there's a specific plan that I'm pretty sure Joe Biden was referencing, and that's uh, Rick Scott, the mm -hmm. uh, senator from Florida, chair of Republican Senate campaign. Um, he put out a proposal, a, a plan that basically, and I think it would be every, uh, this would be a regular vote or something like that under his plan, mm -hmm. yeah. but mm -hmm. Social Security and Medicare would expire in five years 
unless Congress gets together and reapproves it. And this happens, and I believe, if I recall correctly, under his plan in perpetuity, where every five years they would have to reapprove Social Security and Medicare, otherwise bye bye. All federal laws sunset after five years, including in- Social Security and Medicare. Yeah. And the reason they do it that way is so that it's harder to blame them when it happens. Because if it's already mm-hmm. set in place, oh, this is going to sunset, then there isn't necessarily a direct vote saying, yes, we're cutting it. It's just going to happen in five years. <laughs> and they can, well, well, that's, that's, so that's, what, that's what happened. You know, it did it by itself. So it's, yeah, it's so a way fun. to try and get away from any blame when it actually uh, happens, if that plan were to go through. And Ron Johnson you know also, he proposed the... Uh, uh, moving of Social Security from our mandatory budget to discretionary spending. So that way, year to year, you have to approve spending for it. You can make adjustments. Whereas when it's part of our mandatory budget, which is what Congress can't adjust, it's just automatically funded every single year. So that was another proposal that would allow them to kind of inadvertently fuck over people on Social Security. Sorry, go ahead, Lance. Oh, no, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Um Oh, I just remembered it. Uh, David, I see in your comments you get the same thing as me a lot. Why do you Canadians always talk about getting Americans Medicare for all? And this conversation has reminded me of this exact point where it's like, I want Americans to have health care so they're healthy, so they'll have more time to do productive things and take care of their families, learn, enjoy themselves leisure. It's going to be better overall than having a country with a lot of guns, like a lot of guns, a shit ton of guns, just fuck tons of guns, like just guns, guns, porn, guns, fetish, fucking Instagrams with guns, TikToks with guns, just so much guns. Y'all, y'all love guns. It, it, it's it would also- be amazing. <laughs> Uh, so go ahead. Yeah, I, no, I, I I agree, and I I think it's it's helpful. Uh, I would imagine it's helpful to have an outsider perspective, um, because there's a lot of bullshit like Canadians like you know Jordan Peterson or Stephen Crowder, who are completely full of shit, getting paid millions of dollars to push a right wing agenda. I think it's important to dispel a lot of the myths around healthcare. And look, our healthcare system isn't perfect, but the issue isn't that it should be privatized. The issue is that it needs to be invested in further. So mm-hmm. like that yeah. that's. Like I would take our healthcare system over over the American system any any freaking day of the week, um, oh, yeah. and it's because it's always Me there. Too. I was able to start and do what I'm doing now because I didn't have to rely on healthcare tied to an employer. I was able to start this, you know, do this show and, and always have healthcare there. It's always there, regardless. That's one thing you never have to worry about. And I think it's important to you know be able to offer that perspective. Yeah, yeah. And, like and I want American employer healthcare. is so cruel. Like my my husband worked as employer, basically just for the healthcare. Um, and it was it was pretty good healthcare, but I mean, when you're when you tie it to your employer, then that makes you completely insecure, you know. Mm-hmm. So obviously, that's that's terrible. Now, and thankfully, a lot we, of people stay in shitty jobs because of that. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, he was that's getting fun. ruthlessly exploited. Like he he would he would print banners for like Nike and Adidas, and he'd get these tickets for like millions of dollars, but yet hasn't had a raise in like five years. Um, it was just it was so fucked up. But now, thankfully, I mean, the Affordable Care Act was terrible, uh, wasn't good enough. But because of it, we do have health care now, not through his employer, which is is great. But I mean, like just picking the cheapest plan, it's still very shitty. The deductible is very high. Um, I think it's like $700 a month for the two of us. And every time you see a doctor, you've got to pay a copay. Uh, I had a 10-minute phone conversation with oh my, my doctor God. just to renew my prescription. That was $50 wow. uh, for copay. And I can afford it, though. Like, So I'm not necessarily complaining. But like for just normal people, like if you, ha- if you have like a mental health crisis, like members of my family have, um, then that dissuades you from talking to your doctor. Um, and, and like if, if you live in a state like Oregon and you're poor enough, you can qualify for Medicaid. But if you're like just over, like if you make a dollar over, then you, you're kind of just fucked. So, um, you know, these means tested programs, they're better than nothing. But it, having an, a particular income, that isn't a sufficient indicator of like need itself. Right. Because you could be dealing with other things like my my nephew has uh, juvenile diabetes. Um, and so. Like all these different things that people are dealing with, it just the system doesn't account for it. It's just barbaric and ruthless. Well, <clears throat> I was fundamentally unimpressed. Um, not um, by the, but listen, I'm not interested in the State of the Union in general, no matter who was the president, oh, yeah. because it's it's like to me, I Agreed. think of it as like an English class in 
freshman year at college. I'm what this really boils down to is what kind of order you are, like what kind of speech this is, and blah blah blah. So ultimately, it's a performative measure, right? Like I don't really mm-hmm. give a yeah. what he has to say, but the State of the Union, I could look around. Um, also, you know, <clears throat> all the things he had to say on policing and Tyree Nichols, everything considering all Biden ever does is try to expand the police. They give more money to policing, hire more police, do more bullshit. That is is part of exactly the problem. He's never done, wanted to do anything positive that would do anything to curb police violence or black people being killed by the police. So I don't really appreciate him trotting out that family and using them as props. It don't really do nothing for me. As far as the general, that being said, yeah, I will give you all that it's better, a lot better than you'd expect from Biden, because yes, usually Biden is basically like not really a real a real living person at this point. So it was a good performance when that's the bar. But when I think about it in the grand mm-hmm. scheme, it's kind of crazy that that's how low I got to have the bar for the person you elect as president, right? Like That's, that's always been the bar, unfortunately. I know. And <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. It's my, true. Yeah, so I'm not impressed. And, mm. Old geriatric white dudes coming out just so being then, like, I'm here, I'm present. <laughs> and then the honest side of it thing, so then on the, on the jokier side, but on the serious of what, like, I don't, I see, I couldn't go into politics because the way I would rule with an iron fist, people would not feel comfortable to be screaming out, but winning, carrying on because I would be 613 them. Like, I'm telling you, they'd be gone in the night. Like, ain't no way I'm going to allow this kind of, this kind of, this treachery to go and punish. Y'all ain't in there screaming and carrying <laughs> that's on. Why, that's why like, you I'm should get into friend. it, though. I'm president. Like, yeah. what you talking about? Let me tell you something. It'd be a scary, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to have fucking teeth in there. Like, what? Like, what? <laughs> I'll, listen, I'll, I'll go to your mother's house. Come home. I'll be at the table with your mother. Like, hey, what's up? Did you remember that shit you was talking? The best yeah. politicians, though, are people that, that don't seem like, or the, the people that, that don't want to necessarily be a politician. Yeah. Like, those are the, the oh, which is, yeah. the, which the is reluctant really hard to find those kinds of people, yeah. but like, those Agreed. are the ones that make the best politicians. I have I zero agree. political aspirations. People keep trying to get that off. It ain't gonna happen. Let me tell you, it's, it's for the betterment of a uh, folks. Sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a team player. I can make a team look good, but I'm not a team player. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I'm not with the team's overall vision. Like I'm very like that. I always even like that as a lawyer. Like you be talking to the group, everybody says, you know, their idea, the different take in the case. I had is, and I ultimately am like, right, I'm gonna go with mine. And I'm always, and I always. I always rest to show it. I've always felt confident that's that's right. And I'm constantly reaffirming that belief. They're not gonna want me on the team. And they're gonna kill me. Like I don't wanna, you know, I, I like I'm not because if I was a listen, if I give me some power, give me some clemency powers, nigga. <laughs> listen, <laughs> this is gonna the soundtrack would be if I rule the world by Nas. What? I free all oh, my son. What? Like, <laughs> I, like, they would take me out the game. No, mm-mm. So no, no, no politics for me. No, thank you. Also, I'm too Bahamian. Like the way Bahamian politicians are set up, like our prime minister will curse you out for getting in this business. Like that's very much so how it is. The prime minister will be like, excuse me, how you getting my business to the report? And that's a, that is an acceptable response for the Bahamian people. American politicians and American public figures constantly have to answer questions. I don't like that. The idea yeah, but of it's... apologizing for some shit I did in my personal life, yo, it's your Funny. fucking mind. If no. you if you watch the right though, they have stopped apologizing. They've stopped answering questions. You can bring that bring that to the left, like <laughs> bring that to the left with some actual real values, some real principles, and fight for people. And yeah, and fight that same game because that ultimately, I think that that's how we win: is we we play their game but do it better than they do, and do it with some actual principles and some values behind it. Mm-hmm. But not 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 for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I I just feel like it it can stress me out. Like I I'm already at the point where you know people say to me like, oh I mean you know I'm getting to the point where I can't I can't cry. I gotta try to you know you know not rile people as much. So people like you, you just gotta let people say all the things that they want. I'm already getting to kind of that point in my career, and that's a little bit of ass. Let alone used to be a politician, and you gotta be like. I can't be like, bro, fuck you. Oh, that's crazy. I'm in trouble because that's my constituents. Oh, no. Oh, you voted for me. I'm I'm sorry. You got on my nerves. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. I would love to see that, honestly. Just if a constituent, like, comes up and has some right-wing talking point and tries to heckle you over some dumb shit, you're just like, shut the fuck up. Like, I would love to see that. I would kill to see that. Listen, I would. They would be so over me. I'm, listen, 
I would just know my mother, my mother would literally wouldn't rest. My mother would be so sure I'm getting shot. She would be so confident. When I first, <laughs> you know, when I first started commentating, my mom would call me like hard beating after. She'd be like, please, lie me. Why are you in the people country making noise? Please stop saying. <laughs> Please, you can't. She's like, please just stop going on the white people network and saying blackity black stuff. Oh, <laughs> she said that. My mommy'd be, yo, my mommy'd be moved to tears. Like, like anytime a baby performs, like the biggest something is, and you think, oh, best thing for career success. The more my mommy'd be like, oh no, oh, he's worried about child. you. My mommy like, oh my child, why? My I just don't understand. They still talking to my daddy. Hi, oh. I don't know why the child is like that. She never did listen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, America. <is> such a... <laughs> I, I don't blame them, though, for being worried because this is a really violent, fucked up country. Wow. So, like, I not they, them. not they. My daddy is not concerned, child. My daddy is like, listen, my child, she knows what she's doing. She has been there for a long time. Okay. I trust that she understands the situation. My child can say whatever she wants. That's my daddy's position. 100%. Oh. My daddy's like, whatever. My that's, daddy's that's like, she, she told me she had one promise. She was going to go like to America confidence. and go be a lawyer. She did that. As far as my daddy's concerned, I owe nobody else nothing else. Get off my ass. That's my daddy's official position. <laughs> like, people be like, it's oh, you can't be it's like good that. good to have one of each. You have one parent that's concerned, yeah. one yeah. parent that's not. A balance there. It's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they're, 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 they're funny. They're, they're an interesting lot. My daddy. My daddy's like more, like you would think my daddy's like more conservative than my mommy, but my daddy's more like, if you, if you done what he expected of you, that's it. Like my daddy's like, everybody had specific goals. You be a lawyer. All my sisters were supposed to be doctors. Your specific assignments. If you finish the assignment, my daddy's like, all right, you know, you're not on payroll. You do what you're supposed to do. Cool. Like, he's like the child pays his own bills. I'm not complaining. And I'm like, thank you, daddy. And my daddy be on my side. Also, the older I get, the more I am my father. Like I am my, my ex-boyfriend said to me the other day, he was like, your daddy really raised a fine young man in you. And I was like, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm a, I definitely am my daddy. I call my daddy and I'm like, ooh, understanding. I feel understood here. Yes, daddy. They have me fucked up. I just want to work. These people want to talk about working. I just want to work. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So that's my Since we were on uh, politicians talking about bullshit or talking bullshit earlier, I just want to play this clip. This is from, uh, I guess, Tim Poole. Was in it. I don't know where he is, but he's somewhere, like a hotel room. I think, actually, I think he's probably in... Uh, oh, he, he, uh, he did a he did a, a a live episode from uh like the congressional offices oh, like okay. the capital offices capital building offices he, he had on who do you have on he had uh lauren bober here yeah they had a oh, bunch oh, of he had a bunch this. of people come in on yeah hmm. hear this uh response this is a response about lobbyists people are getting like basically bribed by right. you know pharmaceutical companies they're, they're whoever they're they're what do they call them lobbyists yeah, yeah. that they actually feel like you're threatening their money if you're passing a bill that denies nah, their lobbyists. No, 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 no. That's that's not even it. Because the truth is about lobbyists is they're going to write you a check regardless. What a lobbyist really wants is access. They want to be able to be like, look, if I pass you a five thousand dollar check, if I call your staff or if I if I happen to have your cell phone, will you answer my call and give me an opportunity to explain myself? Lobbyists are counting votes, which also is what leadership in both chambers is doing. They're counting votes. Why do they money. want the access, though? And like, who avoids that question? They're not gonna keep, and they're not going to keep giving you money if you don't listen to them. Like, yeah. this is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> completely ignore. Like, it's just, it's so dishonest. But, hey, Big Kev, uh, big fan, big fan. Just wanted the opportunity to talk with you on the phone. <laughs> just wanted to hear your voice. Hang the out. sweet, sultry McCarthy voice. I love it. <laughs> Here's five K. <laughs> Look forward to talking to you again in a couple of, a couple of weeks. Yeah, <laughs> catch up and uh, know your thoughts on that latest episode of The Last of Us. And if you picked up the remastered Metroid Prime, you know we're just buds here. I just want access. That's it. Nothing else. I, I just mean, want to talk. Who believes you know? this shit? Does anybody believe this shit? I mean, he's brazenly defending corruption here. And I, I guarantee you, I mean, I haven't seen that full clip, but I, I would be shocked if like Tim Poole went, went harder at Donald's over that. Like, yeah, know, they probably just moved on. I'm impressed they even shit. asked that question, to be fair, because it's, it's like it's his it's his buddy who doesn't fucking know anything. Like, it's, like it's, <laughs> it's 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 his buddy who doesn't realize he's on like a far right wing show. Um, so he, he occasionally has these moments where he'll, he'll like say something yeah, that's like he, somewhat. He, he, but then he, he says something he, really crazy as well. Like he's he's all. Yeah. Depressed. Yeah, isn't there? Is that the crazy person on the show who asks kind of like Nazi esque questions? Yeah, he, he, yeah, 
he's yeah yeah yes yeah. <laughs> very bizarre and i don't questions. think you realized he was doing it Okay. Can I ask every? Can I ask everyone a question? Because obviously, I'd like to ask your consent before offering this. But uh, Aaron Brown or R M Brown uh, w was asking if he could join the conversation. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely <laughs> not. Right. No, of course. Fair enough. Hello. Fair enough. Who's that? Who's that? Fair enough. Who's that? Uh, YouTuber he is very hilarious funny. and yes. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I, he was also on our uh, election stream for the midterms. Ole. Yeah, um, I'm, not, I'm not against it. You could bring him. Okay. I don't think that he and Olay were on at the same time, though. I think yeah, that Olay left the time, and then so. came back uh, later. Fair enough. I didn't meet Bender. I met Mike and David, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I for sure. Bender, Bender was the only one, and I met, I met, no, did I meet Loma? Yes. She came on at the end. I can't remember. I'd be fried. Y'all know what I'm Yeah, I know that you left for a while, Olay, and then you came back. Yeah, that might but, have been. Um, yeah, what could happen? I can't remember. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, I've got I I started binging RM's uh content and now I'm caught up. I watch basically It's my morning show. Week. You know how some people watch like Good Morning America or something? Yep. For me it's like RM Brown cuz it's just like it has the piano like kind of song in the background. It's very peaceful and calming. Yeah. And then yeah. it's my lunch show. <laughs> yeah. His it's clips, a good coffee show, you know. It's like audio. His soundboard lives in my head rent free. Like I'll oh, be like all doing something and it'll <laughs> pop up in my head and like it, true. Uh, uh, maybe oh. I should wait till he gets in here, but uh, anytime someone says <laughs> Generally speaking, <laughs> uh, I think of the Joe Rogan. He has, he has a Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan sound drop. Where, yeah, this is a, a, a thing that Joe Rogan actually said on one of his podcasts. Generally speaking, Chinese people look Chinese. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> every time I hear generally speaking, I hear speaking. Chinese people look Chinese. <laughs> so, Joe Rogan. He's ruined that. Ruined that for me completely. <laughs> um, we also got that Matt Walsh clip that... All of you were sharing. Like, there's like a version that you shared, Lance. There's a version that uh, Mike shared. I'm not sure which one I should share here. <laughs> we can bring that up as well because he was them completely all, honestly. destroyed. It's wild. This, uh... I can't believe he was bragging about this. Like, I would not have the self confidence. Like, I, I don't to be able to have performed like this on like a, a town hall and then upload it or have it uploaded and be like, yeah, I showed them a thing or two. <laughs> like, I feel like, I mean, so like this this is in this is in Tennessee. I'm thinking like, did he not expect the pushback because he's in Tennessee? Is that maybe why he walked in here with such confidence and just to get destroyed? I'll be honest. I have uh, no I, idea. I, I, wouldn't be I would be surprised. Yeah, I probably would have agreed with that take, to be honest with you. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be like this well of a grilling. So uh, this one was shared by uh, Mike. I assume he'll be back. This is, is this Matt Walsh? No, yeah. this is... Uh, th that's when? Or is no, that's... Th this is Caleb yeah. Hammer. This is a, a lawmaker okay. in... Uh, in no, 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 but it's a clip of Matt Walsh coming up. Okay, You'll see Matt Walsh. Let me see it, because I don't know these people. All right, let's watch. You in former comments mentioned uh, this uh, on your blog. At about 16, you're an adult who's mature, can make decisions... Uh, you're that at 16. I don't care what anybody says. Even going so far as to say, you know, 16 people. Uh, when you're 16, you should be married and uh, and could be pregnant or should be pregnant. Yeah, that's that's a hit piece you took from Media Matters. You don't use it to get clicks on your Let's stay publication. Well, are you using it right now to try to get clicks with this interaction? I'm curious about you speaking to the development of the human brain at, by the age of 25. I seem to recall you advocating on behalf of firearm possession at the age of 18. Do you think let's, that's appropriate? Let's stay on the bill, please. I just have to question, you know, some of your public policy, you know, expertise when, you know, I'm reading here, Singapore is able to have nice things in part because they execute drug dealers by hanging and arrest even petty vandals and thieves and beat them with a cane until they bleed. I have, I, mean, like, I have receipts on the first clip, by the way. If you watch the one that I uploaded, uh, David, I'll on find Twitter, yours. I have the actual clip when the guy's talking about, like, the ideal impregnation age is around 16 for, like, teenage girls. Oh, the yeah. The dude is fucking disgusting oh, and has been he's for a, a long time. And, and not only is he a creep, he's lying there because he's like, oh, this is just a hit piece, blah, blah, blah. I was just saying this is how it used to be back then. No, he's saying that it's fine if a 16-year-old is impregnated as long as they get married. That's what he said. As long as they get married, that's the problem. That's wrong. He said because they're not married. Not the fact that sixteen-year-old girls are being impregnated. That's how fucked up he is. By the day that they uh, had their gender affirming surgery at sixteen, I know uh, you and former cops mentioned uh, this uh, on your blog. At about sixteen, you're an adult who's mature and can make decisions. 
uh, you're that at 16. I don't care what anybody says, even going so far as to say, you know, 16 people, uh, when you're 16, you should be married and, uh, and could be pregnant or should be pregnant. Um, so I'm curious if 16 is, uh, a uh, an adult in your view uh, why does this bill have uh, the uh, minor de defined as 18 uh, so that's, uh, yeah that's that's a hit piece you took from media matters uh from something when i was a, a radio host uh, 13 14 years ago in my early 20s uh it's also I've got not the exact clip coming up what i actually said um i was talking about uh the fact that people tended to marry young historically and that's all that that was about um how does that relate to, the, to this subject? Between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile. Yeah. Okay. That's biological. That's a fact. All right. I'm just stating facts. That's all I'm doing. But what happened recently, and this is the, the fourth fact, recently in the last 30 years or so, we decided that that's way too young to start a family. Why? And uh, because the now we- Divorce rates would probably go up and- once you're that young, you can't really make sure that well, you know. No, girls are getting no, 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 no. Girls were getting married early, and marriages were lasting longer. You very rarely hear about like these these relationships that go to their uh, what is it? Your diamond anniversary, your fiftieth anniversary, and all this. I, it, it's that's a dying breed of people out yeah, there. Yeah, and those all were all people that got married very young. That's why. That's why they're that's, still alive. Yeah, that's why you can have someone in their seventies who's celebrating their you know fifty uh, fifth wedding anniversary because they got married when they were teenagers. So what Wait I'm saying it. is that the problem is not per se teenage pregnancy. It's unwed pregnancy. That's the problem in society. This is a sick, this is a sick, <laughs> this is a sick <laughs> nasty. Listen, let's just keep it G real. Like, right? I'm going to say it again. I'm just going to be saying it every week until we are old and gray. Deplorables is the least of what you could have called these kind of folk. I'm telling you, like, that's the least of it. These are some sick motherfuckers. Like, they're sick. That's constantly what you realize, bro. Just sickness. Just sick. Sick. And that guy's so and they're, famous. He's so yeah. famous. And they're paid like, millions and millions of dollars by Daily Wire, who gets a lot of money from billionaires to prop these people up. They're advertising. Oh my God. The his his what is he has rallies with Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah, like, he, the, right. That, that's, that's how that's huge it is. Like, that's why we know who they are. Like if if if, there, if that money wasn't there behind them, there'd be no. We wouldn't know these people. No, and that's just part of the they're album. They're dummies. They're dummies. Listen, they are dummies appealing to dummies, and that's just the tea. And people are like, oh, yeah, like, you, you think that many people are bad people or that many people are racist or that many people are bigots? Do you that many people? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I do. Y'all think two million people deserve to be incarcerated. So, yes, I think that many people are pieces of shit dummies mm -hmm. that vote and support on that side of the aisle. That's what it is. That's what they they are. Dumb kings for dumb fools. Too polite. That's that's all that is. A mm -hmm. bunch of nonsense there. But they're sick. Because all, all we ever learn is sickness on this side. Every time you find something else. Anytime you find something out about these people. It's sick. It's always some sick shit. It's never some regular shit. You never find out nothing like, oh, it was a Boy Scout and that was it. Like, yeah, it's never just no normal shit. It's always like, oh, they might have been sex trafficking somebody, you know. They might have been, like, adopting somebody and, like, marrying them. They might have been, they always doing sick shit, sickness. I'm not even yeah. shocked. And that on that point crazy. of him being sick, he literally, in 2015, penned an op-ed defending Josh Duggar. For those of you who don't know, Josh Duggar molested his sisters. This is part of the Duggar family, 19 counting, however many kids they had. He actually wrote a soft defense of him, defended the family's response to not turn him in to the police. It was it was genuinely like it felt like pedophile apologia. And I actually did a video about this. Like Matt Walsh is a sick son of a bitch. Um, like, don't forget about Cardinal McCarrick. Mention Cardinal McCarrick, too. Go ahead and explain it because I'm not as Card Cardinal McCarrick was one of the like one of the priests who was deeply embattled when there was a huge revelation that the Catholic Church was uh yeah, content warning, raping children globally. And so when that was coming out, all of a sudden it's like, well, this is really fucked. Cardinal McCarrick was accused of both, you know, uh obviously molesting or using his position of power to have sex with people around, you know, uh teenage years, but then he also was accused of uh sexually molesting and uh you know, raping kids. And Matt Walsh defended him multiple times, both on Twitter and then again on 
on video, he does this video series where he pulls off while he's driving his car in the middle of the road, mm -hmm. and he starts talking about Cardinal McCarrick, and he and he's like, uh, a lot of the men apparently weren't actually children that he was like, you know, abducting. At, at the end of the day, if if a, if you're inside a bed with another man and that other man can have his way with you, then clearly uh, maybe you wanted it, kind of shit. And you're like, holy fuck, you're talking about someone who uh, was a you know a child rapist. So this is really fucked up. You know, the very guy who is leading the charge of LGBTQ plus people are groomers. If if you're trans, you're a groomer. If you're gay, you're a groomer. Blah blah blah. You're all groomers. Blah blah blah. Meanwhile, I should be allowed to inspect children's genitals before they play sports and shit like that. Like the mm -hmm. dude, like you know, Ole like captured it perfectly. He's sick. Yeah. Absolutely sick. Yeah. Why, are, this week why too, are people like this able to continue on with their careers when all of this is public? Like there's videos of him right. saying this shit. Because why why is he allowed? Because why do we sickos? Because they actually they just can't say publicly in the world we're in, they just can't say it publicly. But that's why when you see a sick motherfucker be worshipped by people, it's because that's what they like. They like seeing this sick nigga be able to get that shit off. That's just the truth. That's what it's about. Like, yeah, they with it. They just can't say it publicly. That's what they're really upset about. That's why they hate all the uh, oh, why can't I say these slurs? Why can't I talk about this? Mm -hmm. Why is he censoring this? Why do I hate cancel culture? Da, da, da. Because they want to be free to be sick and bigoted in, in without like right out in public and people say yeah like no one be able to express their disapproval they're sick that's why they're not canceled because there's evidence of it because they're all sick too i just feel like there, there used to be standards in terms of what companies would want to be associated with and like the daily wire i guess you know obviously really does not care um, that's when they and, still and, live and, in a and for them world. that's like a selling feature but you know why because we used to right. live in a time before where like you know, you could more easily craft what your, you know, say what society standards are and like assume because you never actually could see it like, oh, that these kinds of things would, would cause people to fall into, you know, disarray or people wouldn't support it. But now with the Internet and stuff like that, you could see in real time how quickly people move on and that people or that it'll drive engagement or that it'll really do things. So ultimately, people feel like, oh, OK, actually, it won't like end. it won't be the end of me if I continue to support I have this person or blah, 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 blah. And that's how it is, because we just move on like. It's just all the next day in our world, like, and the more yeah. bigoted that he becomes, the more popular he gets because I think that the viewers are living vicariously through them. Like, and, and just this last week, like he said that it was good if trans women fled the country due to anti-trans oh, yeah. laws. He called for that. doctors who provide gender affirming care to trans youth, which are medically necessary, by the way. I have to emphasize yeah. that. Uh, he called for these doctors to be executed, but since that's not necessarily politically feasible, he would settle for just jailing them for the rest of their lives. Like, it is genuinely fascistic and he he owns that though that's the crazy part he is a self-identified theocratic fascist and some individuals will like pretend as if he's being a little bit tongue-in-cheek or sarcastic no he literally owns it he's not being sarcastic he is quite literally a theocratic fascist and um the reason why he's also popular aside from just like that having an appeal unfortunately is because as david was pointing out like the da daily wire spends so much money on advertising that their voices are everywhere so i don't know how many of you have heard of brett cooper i just found out about brett cooper it looks like the female version of ben shapiro so she launched her youtube channel in january of 2022 and then right now she has almost two million subscribers like that's unfathomable that shit makes Nobody me so on the fucking left. angry <laughs> Right. We've been grinding for years. We've been years. doing this for years. <laughs> yeah. But it, if you have unlimited money and you could blast that message How everywhere, long? you can grow YouTube, fast. It, it's like a decade? Yeah. That's what it is. I mean, listen, because they're at the end of the day, this is what we need to understand. They're preaching a tale as old as time. Like the, the, I've said this on, I think, our first show. The right is not doing anything new. All they do is mm -hmm. constantly just reframe and rebrand the same old shit. It's the status quo. And if something is the status quo, it's been what's been ingrained. It's what's been the majority for the majority of the whole fucking country's history. So, of course, they are going to do better and be able to popularize that message. The same shit that half the majority of everybody in the country is indoctrinated to believe in in the first place. What's entrenched. And, yeah, they're going to get people faster. They're going to have more money and shit behind that because that's why it's the status quo <laughs> like mm -hmm. obviously we're gonna be at a disadvantage if we're trying to go against that shit if we're trying to debunk if we're trying to you know what i mean and some we resist or shift it you know in another direction you know that's just that's just the role of the underdog my friends like yep. you know it'd be like that sometimes Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why so many people sell out and they grift to the right because there ain't no fucking money on the left. Like it's a labor of love. Like we, like I can support myself, right? I do this for a living. 
But I mean, if I was really in this for the money, I would be on Fox News saying, actually, this don't say gay law is not homophobic as a gay man. You would make, I would know. Yes, you, know? you would make like, you would make good money because you're gay. You would make yeah. fantastic. You yeah. have an opportunity there. Yep. Just think yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I would rather die. I would literally. And then send us would, your money. I would literally what, off myself. Like no way. What, right. What oh if, my god. What if, no. we, what if we do a secret super group? What if What if we do it like animated or something, and and then just collect the money, and, and then like honestly pill them all on really good things. Be, be like, bring yeah, them in, yeah. and then flip yeah. the switch, and flip and then... the switch, <laughs> and, and get paid along the way. You know. And we're, and we're all just like avatars and cartoons and something. So we're all yeah. like a bunch of Illuminatis. We all like have animated avatars. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, we're like yeah, yeah. right wingers. Yeah. We're like, oh, we're right wingers. Like an eagle. You know, we're telling you like it is. We're, we're fucking characters. the Matrix. You know, we're getting, <laughs> tossing out red pills. You know, you got to think of your personas, all that kind of stuff. I mean, the, like the, the fact is, we have to. The fact is, we have to think of strategies here because we don't have the money, right? Like, there has to be. What is the way around the fact that we will never have the kind of capital that they have to to mm -hmm. be able to get our message out there? Like, we have to be inventive. <laughs> we have to do things like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I think it's a good project. I think we have to mobilize. Honestly, like I said, I think there isn't as much. Um, like unity on our side of the thing because there there is like you know I have a little bit of a different you know outlook on behind the scene I know a little bit of the social justice Illuminati where the money is and how it's being funded I see, you know I see I'm a little bit in the nonprofit industrial complex so I know there's some money there you know what I mean and it's different places I just think um you know it's it's lack of priority I think it's lack of priority and lack lack of unity in messaging and I also think it's not a lot of camaraderie and working together i think that's why like yeah. you don't really see the things like like i think like you know you see a lot on our side because we are we are we are over we are overrun with grifters one and then, and then those grifters two may make so much of the discourse in fighting you know what i mean that makes it impossible to really foster an environment where people can mobilize and they can unite and they can you know maximize audiences and stuff whereas you see on on the right on the grift they just see they be they be full of shit helping each other jumping on you know what i mean introducing da 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 and you don't really see that on our side and i think that's why even our show is an anomaly that was met with you know negativity because right. that is what exists on our side of you know what i mean like our side yeah. is very like you know it wasn't the right freaking out it was the left freaking out Exa <laughs> that's true. Yeah. No, that is true so that is very true like online everyone for different reasons oh, too like, like, like suddenly mafia is some kind of honorary fucking thing like who left this mafia i'm like bro that's some shit i came up with hi Relax. Like, you know what I mean? like, like, it's supposed to be tongue in cheek. Like, it's not it's supposed to be right. like, like yeah, we're the mafia. Like, it's for jokes, my no, guy. We have the actual power to cancel people. It's like, called a good time. But I think that's a yeah. reflection of something like you don't see a lot of um a lot of that, right? And I think that's something you should see more of, like where people maximize bases and audiences and introduce to other people and do that kind of thing. But you don't see it a lot on our side, and I think that's also to our disadvantage because we get caught up in so many like you know. Um, symbolic silly like performative little arguments and and litmus tests and and stupid mm -hmm. shit like we're always having I, and, and and you see it you see that so much even in microcosms of us right and it's even yeah. in the reflection that like all of us talk about serious issues all day every day that's what we do and this is like a thursday night fun thing and we couldn't talk about the grammys for for 20 minutes without some <laughs> i being like this is why, why do you care about a lot of people were loving it though. you know what i mean but that's what i'm saying that, that kind of thing is a smaller level of what we experience on our side of things that make it hard to see a lot of you know what I mean? You and me, and it becomes a lot of infighting about what the other person's opinion rather than everybody having a united idea or mindset towards. I have a larger purpose. Let's maybe see how we could get on board for collaborate, mm -hmm. collaborate on um on messaging. Where is Republicans, the right gets online with bullshit messaging? They get on board messaging quick. Like they had a meeting, like the minute one of them said they're like, Yes, that's the narrative. Let's go, let's go, let's fucking go. Lockstep. The left is like exactly. the left is like. You yeah. said that. Sync up NPCs. I wonder if it bring me a little bit more engagement if I criticize your opinion, moderate. <laughs> you should have. You should have included that one other word. Ooh, you not. Oh. Yeah, didn't go far enough. You didn't, and, uh, you didn't mention this, yeah. and you didn't talk yeah, about exactly. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of Speaking that. of collaboration, our guest is here. Yeah. R. M. Brown. Welcome hey. to the R. M. Brown. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? How you doing? I was just listening. I'm so this is uh, sorry R. M. Brown. He's a. Uh, Comedian, YouTuber, hilarious political guy covers. We were just uh, a talking right. about uh, faking a, a conservative show so we could make lots of money. Oh, no, I thought about <laughs> I thought about this for so long. It'd be so good. 
It'd be financially do, you know? so good. We should do it. Yeah, yeah. we'd clean up. I think mm-hmm. we we and could give the money to good organizations. I w- w- educate them. That's, that's my that's Patreon. Cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's that could be the leftist mafia project. Is like we'll we'll come up with a thing where it's like, oh, we realized we were really into all this, you know, left political stuff, but we realize it's wrong. It's all wrong. So now we're. You know, <laughs> And we're open. And we we're saw open. the light. <laughs> and we're open to any of that, you know, whatever, you know. Uh, we love courage. white supremacy now. Yeah. <laughs> but but definitely we're into the libertarian economics that the wealthy donors will help us out with some, you know, think tank money and all that stuff. That's that's a big it's going to be a big part of it, I think. For mm-hmm. Me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. You have to pre- pretend you're not really that far right. But everything yeah. you're saying is super far right. But it's all couched yeah. in dog whistles, and as long as you're not, you know, going out like Kanye, then it's yeah. it's still there's enough plausible deniability that no, I'm not that person. I just think that we need to uh, lower taxes on the rich, like that. Absolutely. Which one? Well, which one? Of, which one of us would interest. look? Which one of us do you think would look the most believable to conservatives as the the progressive or the leftist who David. went right? Are y'all silly, David? Yeah, uh, that's what I would say too. David, David, all he has to do, David, all he has to do is no his, no hesitation. All I gotta do is put a suit on. All I gotta do is put a suit on. Stick your hair back. <laughs> Stick your hair back. If you throw David in a suit right now and let him start singing right wing shit, they'd fall in love. With, they would be talking so much. Listen, they'd be talking. Well, to be you. fair, we all would. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I don't have. A, I don't have an angle though. Like Mike is. Mike is gay. He has an angle. Well, I'm. I'm mm-hmm. bi. I guess like that's an angle. But. Oh, I didn't know you were bi. Spice it up. I didn't know that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting into this now. <laughs> um, I don't I like how people are. There's... So many people are saying Mike in the chat. Okay, I get no, like the not beard, Mike. like. But that's no. more of a hipster beard. It's not like a conservative lumberjack beard. Like this is hipster. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, speaking it's of it's definitely bi, David. It's a good beard. I'm yeah, a, I'm gonna plug it now because I saw someone someone asked if I have my own YouTube channel. And then since we're speaking of bi, y'all know LOL Overruled on TikTok, who is mm-hmm. TikTok famous. We are starting a show um, on. It's on my calendar. This is either it's at the end of this, I believe, at the end of this month, like February 23rd. So we are gonna have a show. Like um, a weekly on show Twitter. on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna nice. do it um yeah awesome and, yes so this is me telling y'all you heard it here first that's I awesome that's incredible yeah. hell yeah hell yeah. yeah i'm gonna do that you know i do things i do things so that's my plug oh, no lens and it's if lens. oh i would never do that but yes you're right if i wanted to be a right wing if i were me but on the right i would honestly I, y'all would need, y'all would have to take like literally put me down put me down like i'd be the worst thing ever <laughs> no i that's why people don't get it you know what y'all ever seen um a black lady sketch show which i love but they have a skit called um black lady courtroom and it's like black lady courtroom because everybody in the courtroom is black that is let me tell you something in real life that is the worst thing you could ever in your fucking experience in your life if i walk in a court and I see a black judge and a black prosecutor. I'm like, my client is going to fucking jail, nigga. <laughs> going to jail. They're going to jail. Oh, they're going to jail. I'm like, understand how hard black people go. So think about how hard I go. And imagine this on the other end of the prosecutor. I'm like, oh, this fucking nigga about to ask for jail. Oh, my God. It's about to be. You would also so, make a lot of money, by the way. Doing I would. That. I, no, I know. I could imagine. They would. Oh, my God. They would. Be you you could be famous next week if you wanted to be. Just, just they would, faking I, that. And rich. And rich. Well, they yeah, that's. that's yeah. For it, but let me tell you something. I would I would blow my own fucking brains out. I would jump out the window like old boy in Game of, in Game of Thrones. Uh, Cersei's young son. That is my corrupt hub that I'm going to go get. But fuck oh, no. Yeah, like, intense. I would sooner die. Like, the coonery of it all. Like, oh, no. But no, they would love it. I could see Because even when I'm on the hill, there are a bunch of comments. And I think this is, you know, mental illness. But the men be like, they were like, I hate everything that comes out of my mouth. But I love to watch her talk. It's, it's wild how many, like, cops and white supremacists are attracted to me. It's sick. They would. I'd make all kind of bread. <laughs> I will say that there, there was one. Uh, I, I, I've had one organization. This is a couple years ago. Reach out to me. And I didn't even take a conversation because I, I knew that it would be stupid to do anything with this company. It, it's Rumble. So Rumble, a couple of years mm. ago, I think they were trying to kind of like make their image appear more. Oh, we're we're just objective. We got people on the right and on the left. So they were trying to reach out to some people on the left. to, to And we're talking like it sounded like six figures just to have like early, early videos posted 
on the channel. Like, I still have my YouTube channel, still do stuff there, but like videos go up early on on uh, on Rumble, and I was just like, and I'm like, who do you have there? Like, there's, there's no one. Like, I don't want to be there. <laughs> Those people. <laughs> like, have you, have I don't you guys... any association with that? Oh my god. Um, I, I wonder if I would have taken that. But uh, uh, have you guys watched? <laughs> have you guys watched Donald Trump's uh, Rumble account at all? No, it's yeah. okay. Donald Trump Juniors. Donald Trump. No, no, no. no. Re regular, regular, senior. No, re re regular, re regular Trump or regular Trump. I haven't seen Daddy. <laughs> regular Trump. Daddy Don. No, the OG, <laughs> the original. He yeah, gets, yeah, yeah. So what he's been doing is they're literally like video tweets. So they're like thirty second long, and they and they have the same feeling of tweets, but it's just him in a video. It's it's hilarious it's hilarious oh wait, are these like about? those old are these like those old donald trump uh twitter videos he used to put out there where he's just in his little trump tower office and he's just yeah. like no they're, they're new he does them like once it looks like he does them like once <laughs> yeah, or twice like, a week yeah they're on they're on his they're on his rumble rumble oh channel. here yeah okay pull one up yeah. pull one up Oh my God! They feel exactly like tweets. He just, yeah, we've got to see it Let now. Let me pull this tab up. He's just barking at the camera the way that you imagine the tweets. You know, it's it's hilarious. It's so weird. So they all look like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it all the same video? Like, what the hell is oh the same thumbnail? <laughs> you thought so bad. It's just the same thumbnail, but no, it's like now he's now he's a blue guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's fair let's news. check this one out. A lot of How? consistency with those. Things. How? <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> the okay. fake news says I'm not. Wait, why is it so late? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, like, the, the fake news. <laughs> right out of the gates. <laughs> the fake news says I'm not. <laughs> very hard. I say they are stupid and corrupt. <laughs> the election's a long ways away, almost two years. The beauty is Why is he gasping for air? Why? Very, very weak. He's very low. Very weak. Yeah, very weak. Very weak. <laughs> very weak. Very weak audio. Pinching no his energy. belly. What's going on? Giant rallies and other events. Low audio, Donald. Oh low audio, Donald. <laughs> 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 America great again. And you are going to be the biggest... Yeah, but if... if you, you, you know it's funny? You know it's funny? Rod DeSantis would totally come at Trump at a debate as like, low audio Donald, and then Trump would just come back at him and go, pedo Ron! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. I was, I was That think, was, I was funny, oh seeing God. Trump attach DeSantis yeah, to uh, being a groover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did you bring that up? That real quick. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm like, did I put this up? I thought I'm confused. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Wait, we could do that. We could just all grab. We just we could just take over. Ooh, I didn't know that. I'm gonna take it down. I think, I think only me and Mike can. We have hosting abilities. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, you can try if you want. I'm move it. I'm sorry, David. Oh, here. Let me. Let me. Uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I got it stuck on his face, hissing. <laughs> if you have hosting abilities in the leftist mafia, I guess that makes you a boss or a, a capo or whatever. You're the mafia bosses. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I exactly. suppose. <laughs> well earned. Yeah, well earned. Made. You're that, made a man. That was very funny. This is not a co op. <laughs> I own. Yeah, it's I'm a in strict control. authoritarian hierarchy. The, the do, we, do we have the Ron DeSantis? Um, Video of him response. Hey, response. Oh, let me see if I could. I think I saved that uh, link in my notes. I thought of a name if I was on the Trump writing team. I thought of a name for him to call DeSantis. You guys ready for this? Ron mm. Ron de Sadness. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just dropped it in the chat. I just dropped it in the chat. For oh, me. good. Thank you. <laughs> Ron de Sadness. I like. I would uh, focus I like, on uh, his middle a, name being be Dion. That's my like, focus. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hassan's Ron idea Celine is, Dion. No, the sanctimonious. We can't Dion. lose that. <laughs> Hassan's yeah, idea is, is is that Trump should call him Ronda and like de oh. demasculate him basically. Like <laughs> Ronda, Ronda. Like, I think that's a good idea. That's really. I think good. I think that's that's the way to go about it. Yeah. Can I Let me bring up this really uh, Ronda Santos clip? When I saw that uh, Trump had called Ronda Santos a groomer, I like literally like stood up and said yes, just because this motherfucker is single handedly spearheaded this whole groomer campaign against uh, LGBTQ plus people. So the shot. In and he did it in front of I diapers. Think. He did it in front of diapers. Who would Aesthetically, have thought that, this is a terrible thought. choice. Yes. Yeah, I thought that would have backfired, you know? 
So the, I, I guess the, the quick backstory to this is that Trump on Truth Social posted a, a truth, is it called, mm -hmm. of uh, Ron DeSantis when he was a teacher, picture with some with uh, some of his students who I guess were under, when he under was a drinking age. When he was a, a teacher, party. he would go party with students. That mm -hmm. is so fucking yeah, weird, no is, matter that how weird. you... That's, yeah, that is big, that's a big no-no that right there. That's a yeah. massive yikes. Massive creepy yikes. Rhonda. They call him Creepy Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. All right, and so I guess this is, uh, this is Rhonda's response. Go. I spend my time delivering results for the people of Florida and fighting against Joe Biden. That's how I spend my time. Fighting against the president. Spending your time fighting against the president. That's what we want in the ball. Just fighting against the president. Right. I don't spend my time trying to time smear to other Republicans. Very weak. Very weak. Very nope. weak. Low energy. He's going to get steamrolled by Trump. Yeah, that's not how you have to go. You have to go for the jugular when it's Trump. My, you have to my, actually my, fight oh, yeah. and show that you're the bigger man. Otherwise, you lose this race. Yep. Yeah. My standing around, my being surrounded by mountains of Pampers diapers has a lot of people asking about my status as a pedo groomer. <laughs> Did you see the Trump comments? Like the MAGA comments were like, uh, homie is literally standing in front of naked children on, on like on screen right now. And I was like, that's intense. That is so intense. That's aggressive for them to say that. Oh, also, I, I got to point it. out, I'm pretty sure those are boxes of gas stoves behind him. No. I think so. Oh, are, really? are you serious? Yeah, pull it up. I, I don't. No. I don't. Speak, I don't speak French or whatever language is on the box. But I'm pretty I sure. I I'm pretty sure those are sto uh, boxes for gas stoves. Is it? Uh, doesn't Florida have like one of the lowest uptakes of, of gas stoves? It's, it's mostly yes. electric there. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's not a. It's like not an issue there. Hange cuisine is. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but a... I don't know what Estefan cuisine is. Just. This is not French. <laughs> Chat. I don't anyone know. able to translate? Oh, I'm doing it in real time. There's also a basketball hoop to the left. Do you see that a Fisher Price? Fisher Price. Hoop? Yeah. Spanish. What is going on here? <laughs> it is electrical stove in Spanish. It is. Gas yeah. stoves. Gas stoves. Gas stoves. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Man, what Sorry, he is a grand he is like a grandstander and very sanctimonious. Yeah. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Yeah, hoarding all those diapers. That's pretty sanctimonious. Did that, you that's see, a, did you, it's a weird set design. Bunch of stoves and diapers. It's kind yeah. of weird. Listen, I know a lot of Republicans think the Democrats cook and eat babies and groom small children. I'm just standing in front of these gas stoves <laughs> and around these diapers to say, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I swear to you, I'm not luring children in with these mountains of diapers and then throwing them into these stoves and cooking them up and eating them. I swear to you, that's not me. <laughs> oh my God. How about yeah, we need? How, how about Ron de Groomer? You know, you could just go. Ron the go. Yeah, yeah, Trump's gonna start go. doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need RM's uh, soundboard when we discuss. Trump I know. Sure. I wish there was a way to feed it through. That'd I be, agree. That'd be the best. God, I, I, I got some sounds on my mind. Suck. That makes rational national sense. <laughs> okay, <that one. laughs> oh wait, I got. I think I got a new Trump. I got a new Trump name for Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis. Okay. Adrena Ram. Okay. Adrena Ron, Adrena Ron. Maybe, maybe workshop it a bit. Good. That's pretty good. There we go. Ron the Jock Itch, Snack Panther says. That's a good recommendation. Ron the Satan from Lizzie, Lizzie Bennett. That's a great one, too. There, there's so much potential. I feel like he shouldn't have settled on Ronda Sanctimonious. Like, there's so much opportunities here. For He's got to change it, right? He's not going to sit on that. It's just not time. that he good. It doesn't it, slap it, it like doesn't Crooked Hillary or Sleepy Joe. Yeah, yeah. Ron to Sam Smith, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Ron to Sam Smith. <laughs> He's doing his devil dances at the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. <laughs> Uh, RM Brown, since you're our guest here, uh, what have you been covering this week? What's what's in your world? What's uh, what what kind of wackiness has, uh, been, has been going on? Um, oh, I was gonna tell you guys, I found a funny Tim Pool clip that I thought you guys might like. I can't I can't like play it or anything, but he I don't know if you guys saw this, but he went to 
he he basically went to the he went to Congress. Tim Pool went to Congress. Oh, we were just watching a video of that before, but you might he have a different video. Clip. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. There's some funny stuff in there. Um, where so he's talking to Lauren Bobert for a while, then he talks to Matt Gates. It's just like you know, it's actually pretty boring. But there is there is a funny a couple funny parts where I never heard this, but this was apparently like a right wing thing that they were like that they were like um, the eviction moratorium violates the Third Amendment. Have you guys heard this thing? It's, re- I it's have really not okay. So the Third Amendment is basically like it was you know. It was basically like the British Empire sending over soldiers and they kind of like would would say, hey, they passed a law basically like you have to house these soldiers. Right. So then the the colonists, you know, know, basically, you know, the the Third Amendment is like you can't do that. You can't. No soldier shall in a time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law obviously this was a very the the quartering of soldiers in houses was a very important issue at the time they decided to make it the third fucking amendment (laughs) yeah the third amendment and it's kind of a joke the third amendment is sort of a joke among lawyers because it's like it's never used in anything but they there 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 was apparently this this like right-wing meme for a while where the eviction moratorium was was against the third amendment because an American, an American, you know, a member of the armed forces could be renting an apartment, and if you can't kick them out, then they're forcing you to quarter a member of the military. Like it's the biggest stretch I've ever heard, and I was like, "Holy shit!" That is literally maybe the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like every time I watch Tim Pool, it's like the new stupidest thing I've ever heard. And there's a couple of those in that. Oh, we're Tim- talking Tim Pool. I didn't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, the that, mental gymnastics couple... that they'll use just to fuck over poor people. That's what it is. That's what it, any, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any any kind of excuse to like, oh no, we should be able to kick out people during a pandemic when they're renting an apartment. You know, it's like, good God, like the links they'll go to to be uh, horrible. You know, I'm amazed by his ability to continue to pretend that he's not right wing. Like, does he still oh, pretend yeah. he's he's not a conservative? No. <laughs> he says it's offensive. Yeah. I think you know, you know how. Right now. <laughs> Speaking of people who got paid to be on Rumble, Glenn Greenwald still kind of does that. He's still kind of like, oh yeah, he's got oh, Marjorie yeah, Taylor really. Green going on the show right now. It's amazing. He's yeah, doing yeah. basically like a press release, I guess, for her. I like the same shit he did with Alex Jones, where it's like, hey, by the way, Alex Jones, a lot of people really know you from all the Sandy Hook stuff, but are you actually the greatest person to ever live? And then Alex <laughs> Jones was like, yes, I am. He's doing the same thing with Marjorie Taylor Green right now. Oh where yeah, it's like exact, you know, verbatim, you know, once oh, again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, same. Which is like it's 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 wild. It's it's Marjorie Taylor Green. He's like he's downplaying all of the wildest things she's ever done. And I'm sitting there, okay, like to be fair, that last part was hyperbole. It's not verbatim what they do or say, but he was actually trying to pacify people on the concept of uh I, I said Jewish space lasers, uh that's not true. It's a complete fabrication, it's a lie in the media. And you're like, Yeah, you said the Rothschilds multiple times. So okay, that's oh, called yeah. a dog whistle. I'll give you that. But yeah. you say it multiple I'm like, and it's an essay. It's not just like you just typed out like the mm-hmm. California wildfires were caused by Jewish space lasers. It's just like you know, fan fiction, straight up fan fiction, you know, and like he is how they you know got the power to build the lasers and all this kind of stuff and like, you could even wild. you could even even if you want to remove the anti-semitism lasers caught space lasers caused climate change <laughs> forest fires like what <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. what is going on here <laughs> right. okay to say <laughs> i like the idea i like the idea of like now nah, okay the space laser part i kind of there's something there you know yeah you, you gotta stop the anti-semitism yeah but, exactly. uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, climate change isn't real. <laughs> there, there's a part in that interview where Marjorie Taylor Greene starts going into the Ilhan Omar married her brother thing. And Glenn Gre- oh my God. Th- this is the thing about Glenn Greenwald that's so funny is is he'll anybody who's kind of, le- uh, you know, sort of left, he'll he'll let go after relentlessly. But if you say something like that, like Marjorie Taylor Greene is like, oh, Ilhan Omar and uh, Ilhan Omar married her brother. He's like, well, you know, there's some uh, due process on that. He's like, so <laughs> he's so soft gloves, like the softest gloves with that stuff. But anybody on the left, listen, what is it, you know, what is a brother? Mm-hmm. Really, what is uh... <laughs> the fine brother, Marjorie? Come on. <laughs> I, I just love how it's kind of like similar with Jimmy Dore, right? 
where oh, a yeah. Jimmy Dore will find it like he'll bend over backwards to try to find ways to make Marjorie Green seem reasonable. <laughs> oh, look, she, you know, she's anti war, but he would never ex- extend that same level of charitab- uh, charitability to AOC, someone who oh, he God, claims yeah. would be he on his side ideologically, left- right? He's like, she's out lefting AOC. Yeah. Look at this. She's on the other side. And you're like, yeah. no, she's not. The tweets that, you have up on is... screen, it's all factually incorrect. It's like ivermectin cures COVID. I was right. No, th- everything has been disproven on the list of things she has. It's wild. That is literally Jimmy Dore's strategy for every single topic. Like the media, <laughs> Alex Jones knows more than CNN, uh, the, the left. Oh, this person, Marjorie Taylor Greene is more left wing than AOC. Or like, I don't know, Trump is more left wing or Biden is, is further right wing than Trump is. Like all this, it's always just like, <laughs> he attempts to like flip your world. What is just, it's all so nonsensical. <laughs> right? There's an entire conglomerate of them that all they do is like anoint themselves the, like the kings of the left, of the leftist mm-hmm. space, while literally everything they do is try to read reason in a good faith basis into the right all day they speak about yes nothing. talking points only things to the right they like dole out litmus tests for the all the actual other people accusing and condemning all the you're not left in us or you're a liberal or blah 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 meanwhile all they do is pander to the right their entire audience is right wing and you know it because anytime they even tangentially engage with anybody left or anything left their fucking audience loses it but anyway child in- instantaneously it absolutely you you Absolutely. see it in the comments. It, it just like it pops off right away. When, when all of a sudden they were talking about border issues, you just saw all the comments were like, oh, why are you bringing this up? Blah, blah, blah. This person on horseback wasn't using a whip. No, that's exaggerated. That was actually the. And you're like, oh my God, now I see it. Okay, now, now it's all laid up in front of you. Your whole audience is right wing. Yeah. yeah, I just love how in 2021, I think it was, Jimmy Dore randomly decided to be reasonable. And he talked about CRT in a joking way. That was like one of his comedy segments where uh, Mike did some like his uh, the dude who does, does impressions called in as like Vince Vaughn or some shit. I don't remember. But Jimmy Dore was saying like, oh, yeah, well, actually, CRT is a legal philosophy. And he like defended it in a way, even if it was jokingly, okay. though, his audience whipped him a new asshole. It was like we could really? still see dislikes. Um, it was majority dislikes and all of the comments. I usually like you, Jimmy, but I'm not with you on this. <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't Good police now. Yeah. Hear, which was CRT I'll decide that's funny. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get the memo. But like, wait, didn't he get the, the propaganda memo that we're all supposed to be CRT bad? <laughs> Sesame Street canceled. Like, did you not get the yeah. new talking points? They just updated on Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely. I, w- I wonder with you, because I looked up Jimmy Dore's house. You know, like, what does Jimmy Dore's house look like? And I wonder, I wonder what you guys think. Like, oh, it's a very at, big. You just bought a nice, sweet little compound. Very in, nice, uh, very yeah. nice house. And I always wonder, not to psychoanalyze or whatever, but like, if I lived in that house, would I look around? And I'd be like, oh, like th- th- that bullshitting bought that front door. You know what I mean? Like, would it, would it, <laughs> would it, start, to, would it start to close That's in on you? I got the Bugatti. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I, I think it would be, it would bother me a little bit. Yeah. You know? They don't care. Yeah. They're unprincipled. Yeah. These people are thick. Yeah. That's why all they do, honestly, they talk more. I have noticed it so deeply because sometimes I'll be like, "Am I not paying attention or something? Do I not know what's going on or whatever?" Like someone commented one time, they were like. My favorite run is running gag is Ole not knowing what's happening in the world. I'm like, is it me who know what's happening or is, or is it them? <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> they're only, I'm like, oh, they're only, the, all they ever talk about is what other people are talking about. Just criticizing, you know, other viewpoints of people that are allegedly on their side of the aisle. But they don't, and the reason they do that is because if they had to just actually talk about what they believe, some issues, some agenda or something, but they don't have much to say. That's why they like they say like one little thing they think is so like so super fucking compelling and then they use it as like this like argument, this like policy argument against the rest of us forever. They don't be talking about shit because they don't care about nothing. They're just trying to catch a check. So they feed off other people's engagement. Like you said a thing, I disagree. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yep. Hot, hot take, plot twist. I mean, as little as we are, like we're all public figures, but I mean, comparatively speaking, like we're we're nobody compared to like these right wingers or celebrities. But like our names at this level is clickbait for for so many motherfuckers, which is and, so wild to me. Like I, I come yeah. across thumbnails that, that people like post on Twitter, and like I'm in this thumbnail, like. Who the fuck? Like, I got, like, 20,000 views. Like, that's right? the nothing. What the fuck did I do? I saw one with <laughs> you and like, me in the thumbnail. It's so ridiculous. Uh, David, <laughs> the premise was like some they're doing... shit-libby thing we said. Yeah, like, if they're doing videos on, like, 
a video that of mine that got like thirty thousand views. What are they? They're getting like what two thousand? Like it's like what is this game? Like go after someone bit like fine like attack me. I don't give a shit. It's just it's funny to me because I don't I even know. love it. I, I don't I'm, feel like I'm important. <laughs> so it's yeah, like, so. It I'm makes me feel important actually. Wait, that's what I was gonna say. I'm a Leo, so all you do is feed my ego. In my mind, I'm like. You saved my picture on your computer and then took the time to get a little program. They use good pictures too, by the way. I'm like, oh, they're yeah. good. <laughs> Talking about me like, I saw that. That's how I felt when I saw Fox News did a um did an op-ed on my op-ed. My op-ed for oh, TV. Really? Fox News did an op-ed. Yeah, just like, literally, my daddy like responded. He was like, they he, they basically just you know sar- sarcastically restated all your points. Like they're like <laughs> this is arguing that racism is systemic, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's exactly what I'm saying. And I and I seen that and I was like, oh, this has been me mad, but honestly, yo, my ego, I'm like, bro, look at you, like put a little thing. I'm like, I wrote a thing yesterday, because you know what goes into writing and like getting something pitched. So I wrote something yesterday, it dropped yesterday, and you went and immediately in a little huff went and got permission to go write a thing. You sat at your computer, I'm mad about what I wrote and then you put out a thing like my thoughts about what she said. I was like, oh baby, I love your mind red free. I'm in I'm important. <laughs> so I was like, my outfit is doing so well. Like I was like, wow, look at the numbers, the engagement. Fox News is mad. Oh, <laughs> I I hear I I I, I, I want to at least read the headline. I, I found the Fox News piece. You found this it? This is uh your Teen Vogue article was great, by the way. It was Thank so you. fucking good. Yeah. Thank you. This is the one? Teen Vogue yeah. op-ed argues black officers are oppressors. So mm-hmm. they just, I guess... The- <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's so funny that they... Wow. I'm actually surprised there wasn't... Or was there, like, media, like, like, they like they TV coverage? Critical- no, did y'all notice? Please notice that it's listed under critical race theory. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course! <Yeah>. America! <laughs> America! <laughs> <laughs> officially, officially, y'all, I am peddling critical race theory. Sociology <laughs> is critical race theory, always. <laughs> like, like, on, Systemic like, racism, first. institutional racism, all CRT, all of it, all the time. Oh, man. They just yeah. quote oh, me from large oh, blocks. Like, like, what? Say, yeah. that, like, he kept putting things in, 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 in air, like, quotations, like, I was the first person to coin this shit. Like, Allura <laughs> went on to say that the act of policing in itself is racist yes yeah bro. Like, <laughs> i'm trying to find their argument here but they're just like here's what she said and like right. <laughs> right. They're just saying it was so how dare she they're just like can you fucking believe this bitch said that shit she really said this? Went she conti- to say this? this is like a big quote she continued <laughs> <laughs> Another big quote. <laughs> yes, he's mad as hell. She also quoted, "Oh my goodness!" Like that's how you know a bitch was spitting. Though he was mad as hell, but couldn't rebut it at all. Do you like that though? Do you like that? As mad as they were to put that out, they could not rebut a single no. fucking thing. Just an attitude, and that's that why is I- uh, <laughs> pathetic. I think that's the word. That's, that's so pathetic. funny. They really did yeah. just quote the whole yes. article. That's yeah. Amazing. Yes, because that's and then she said this, and then she had why? the audacity to say this but right you know afterwards. Right, that's the whole I thing. Oh my god! Look at that quote, that, that, that paragraph. Yeah, that's here's another quote. quote. Yo, this wow. is cheating on your fucking essay. That's yeah. what this yeah. is. When you just fucking copy paste the whole time, double font, double space, just to fill shit up. Like that's what this is. If anything, this helps you. It's like it, this gets yeah. this gets your yeah, message oh, out yeah. to the Fox News audience. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, at least, exactly. at least they're reading. At least they're reading it. I was like, listen, I got my shit <laughs> off. This is an excellent. Honestly, this is one of my, I think, one of my um best pieces. So I was like, it was yeah, a great piece. I read it. it was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, y'all. Yeah, no, I was like, okay, okay, okay. But you know, I will say this, and this is an important thing and a, a hypocrisy about our um, written media. This is what annoys me. The reason why they can't rebut it is because they do not let my black ass say anything that I do not have citation to death. You know what I mean? I have to, I can't say shit. Like when I say to you everything, they'll be like, if I say they're like, do you have a stat for that? Like just to write an op-ed. Meanwhile, they can put out whatever peddling bullshit, nonsense, lies, just call it whatever they want. Just do whatever they want. And that's the reason why they can't rebut it because everything that I put out has to be cited to death. So as much as they will try, they'll be on YouTube like, oh, well, my son for me, you're trying to pretend. No, no, a girl is never lying. They don't let me lie, baby. I have to come with the facts. They do not let me say shit. Not that's why he had a whole attitude for a whole piece. Nigga couldn't say nothing. 
couldn't say shit but quote me with an attitude okay thank you thank you love that there is like a, a level of like what's acceptable in like public discourse and it's almost it's it goes all of what they say goes unquestioned because it's been said a million times before and and even though it's challenged and proven wrong they keep saying it because that's just the stand that's that's the status quo that's what they that's what they think but yeah that your fact check because what you're bringing is actual reality that rarely gets heard in in on large platforms so they have to <laughs> they feel the need to like have to make sure you have all of your all of you all of the the, the data lined up otherwise uh they won't let you do it that's that's great exactly they'd be like mm -hmm. <laughs> Like I swear, the fact checking from like um main publications is just a white person doing a vibe check. Like, um, I don't like. I swear to you, it don't have nothing to do with be there citation. They'd be like, um, I'm just so like I have feels. What do you mean like that? They were like, um, when you you keep when you say we, I was hoping you had meant, you know, earlier I was trying to envision everybody, but I'm getting the impression you mean a different we. Who we do you mean? Me and the me me replies in the comments. Black people, I am black. <laughs> and I mean, that, that is the week. Like, maybe so. That I mean, I mean, the comments like, no, no, no. I meant that black ass thing right there. That was that was what I meant. They're like, oh, do you do you have to say black? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. It is very important that you leave that in there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I must say, but it really be like, it be funny. They mean the comments like, um, I don't even really watch Law and Order, but. Um, it does. It does other stuff, right? Like people can enjoy it. They'd be like, or they'll, they'll be in the comments and they'll say, um, they'll be like, um, is it all? I don't feel like we should say white America because, like, we don't know the percentages. I'm like the white people that feel that way. Oh Would want to do that to like all the white people? Like, oh, that's that's really what the the fact checker does. I mean, they're like, wow, miss, miss mama, yeah. <laughs> like, me, me. come on, miss, let's just uh. Just go ahead and publish my shit. <laughs> like, thank <laughs> you. That, that was the dub for you, though. The fact that the article was so good and Fox News decided to uh, make an article that's 75% you, 25% them, if even, it's yeah. just such a win for you. Like, that, yeah, that, that's, that's such a win. They're, yeah. clout, they're riding your, your coattails now. That's, yeah, that's I was like, oh, my op-ed did really well. Wow, they saw that and were mad. They put that out the next day. Excellent. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Numbers. That's a dub. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Anytime our names are used for clickbait, I take I take that as a dub. They can shit on me all they want. You're like giving me clout, giving me relevance. I, I love it. I, I appreciate it. I get it. So what else you got going on, RM? I want to get in Teen Vogue. Uh, what would what would be a good Teen Vogue article? You know. You know. They have really good. Do they do? Shockingly they do good. Do they, they do. Uh, yeah, stuff. they do. They publish good yeah, stuff. Teen Vogue is yeah. Just been yeah. so they amazing do, actually, these last yeah. couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know. If you, I don't know if you guys remember those magazines. Well, it was probably like Seventeen magazine. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But like, they used to publish the embarrassing stories. Am I right on that? Do you guys remember that? I remember, I remember Seventeen, that. but I can't remember specifically like what they. I know it's like celebrity it's, gossip. It's, stuff. A, it's a boy band, isn't it? It's like a boy band. Yeah, thing. yeah, like that kind, like kind Britney of, Spears, yeah. Justin Timberlake stuff. I'm dating myself, but. In yeah, that yeah. realm, actually, boys and sync, you know, mm -hmm. the good but stuff. It's cool that those yeah. magazines or those like websites probably now have kind of like evolved into publishing like meaningful stuff. You know, it used to be just mm -hmm. kind of like embarrassing stories. Oh, Justin Timberlake. That's true. Kid. I didn't think about yeah. that. Was was like Teen yeah. Vogue silly back in the day, but now it's like super based. I think I don't I know. know. They like Teen Vogue, like Mike Lee. Lee. Teen Vogue. Like Mike Lee. <laughs> 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 what were you like, saying Vogue? no i was at, team vogue lets me get my shit off i feel like team vogue mm. of all that's the awesome to be surprised i find that team vogue is the most i get the most radical of anything i'm gonna get off in mainstream media off at team vogue mm -hmm. um cool. and i do you know and obviously i kind of have an established relationship with them now because my first op-ed for them did i think it's one of their highest engaged articles of all time um, wow. nice. that helped them allow me to really get my shit off, but they let me get my yeah. shit off. Honestly, I like come to them praise pretty much like the day before. Like, can I say this? I have an op ed, I, it's called Black Cops Are Still Cops. You know, let me say that. Like, you know, let me say that. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> thank you. Like, you know, they really, they really let me do it. Like, my whole last paragraph in that op ed, um, that I put out for them, 
I, you know, was from an essay I published on Illuminati on my sub stack um, called um, Being Black and Principled in White America. And basically everything in Illuminati, I started Illuminati so I could write and say all the things that I really want to say that white mainstream would never let me say. But if I have my own outlet, my own platform, and I prove that I have an audience and the pitchforks aren't there and I can get this off, I can eventually get away with saying this more. So that was the first, like, I took that paragraph right out of that. And the fact that I was able to get that off, like, I've come to a place, like, they approved that, that got through. The white people fact checking, like, oh, yeah, they're gut by their vibe. I was like, yes, I really got that off. That had been, he wouldn't have let me, three years ago, they, they would not let me say that radical shit. Like, a whole thing, like, hey, I want to make an example of you. Y'all see the consequences of cooning? Y'all, I straight up called, like, a line day, being in the police department, aligning with your oppressors. And they let me get that off in Teen Vogue, I said. And they quoted it on NBC. I said, okay. Did they really? Oh, nice. Yeah, I did Wild. NBC. I did Hell NBC. Yeah. I don't know. I'd be around. Um, yeah, you were, you're you, were, it. you were in NBC or, or on the show? Or I was on, on NBC television. last week. I was on, oh yeah, I was on NBC last week. Um, let me shut yeah, oh, that You were on the show? show? Can we you see the clip? NBC. Y'all know I be places. Y'all don't know. I, I just be, you know, I be forgetting to tell y'all. Y'all know I just be about this stuff because I, I feel like I would have seen that. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, I was on. I'll send y'all. I'll send it to y'all on Twitter. But yeah, I was no on. No kidding. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Nice. Thank you. Look at you. Nice. Yes, I am. Also, I am. Um, I am co-hosting Unbossed with Nina Turner. Um, <gasps> whoa. Next week. Yes. Yeah. Really, very nice. And also, my episode with the Daily Zeitgeist dropped today. Um, y'all should listen to that episode. That's fun. Um, y'all might be places. I'd be places. <laughs> I am. He keeps the job alluring. Um, but yeah. You know I'm fried, so I don't remember oh, yeah. what my original point is. It's the ball. Okay. Um, <laughs> when are you? When are you co-hosting on Bossed? March fourteenth. Okay. Yes, okay, March nice. cool. Yeah. So wow. I am that. All the things y'all know. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've been on there a couple times myself, so you know. Whoa. And I'm gonna be on Hassan's stream next month. Hell That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Right, so. He books a month ahead of time. Holy shit. <laughs> Why have we books? Have you just been told me and Alex, me and LOL overruled that we can go on anytime. Um, okay. and Alex is like, okay, so this is the time we chose. We're going to LA. So we're going to go to LA and go be on it in person. Oh, you're going to be in person. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Amazing. Gonna be in person. So, awesome. yes, cool. you know, doing stuff, being in places. Y'all see. Face. I'm going to make a clip out of that. Yeah, as you should. I'm going to do a humanist report segment. So you have to say something really good. Yes, I shall. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I shall. Also, I want, by the way, um, y'all saw a bender. Did you see um, the 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 draft so far of Cartoon Us? I did. It looks very yeah. cool. Yeah. Isn't it great? I, I like want, it a lot. I want, I don't know who, who was in charge of this. I want hoodies. I feel like we should have merchandise because I want a hoodie. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Like, I deeply want it. Also, there's a colored version. It's going to be done tomorrow. Um, because you um, they're putting the background on it, but I'll send y'all mm. it right now so y'all. I'm can excited. See. I'm gonna Very send y'all cool. right now what there is so far, so y'all can see it because y'all need to have the appropriate excitement because I really love this image. I'm excited, I, and I just want to say this was my this was my idea. I just want to remind y'all of such good ideas. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we have Fair like enough. a cartoon sketch of all of us. Um, so we're getting more like professional, like we're getting fucking not necessarily merch, but like. I don't know. Dole is going to have a background soon. We're going to green screen one, him into one of these days. <laughs> you should show them. <laughs> in our group chat, I sent it to y'all. In the private chat, let me see. Yeah, in our group, in our in our DMs, our Twitter DMs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Show cool. them yeah, if they want to see. Uh, so the the colored version, the colored version is is very cool. Uh, I gotta say, when I first when I, on a quick look of the the one that's in black and white it looked like that was your hand in front of me like you were like like ole w w was was touching my chest <laughs> i was like what i was like this th <laughs> i thought the same thing i'll be honest i thought the same thing <laughs> no, no, we're checking for you <laughs> that's really cool. uh, that's the, that's, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's yeah. so cool but in the black and white one that came before that you'll see what i'm talking about you're gonna get a story. colored background the background is gonna be fire <laughs> so it'll be done tomorrow isn't that amazing? I love it. I really love cartoon me. They got my yeah, arm hair really down perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And David has a leftist mafia mug. Yes. Oh, hey, we should get, we should totally get mugs. There's, um, you know, your your hey. girl changes. Hold on, let me just send y'all for accuracy. Please show them the other one too. There's a blonde version, but I decided to go with 
the red because I feel like my red locks are my um, staple look. But for accuracy to present time, you can click the blonde one and show them. I just sent it to our DM. Mm. You can show them the blonde one. Very nice. So they can. While so I they can. while I bring this up, should we do a cancel uncancel? Yes. Let's Mike looks it. like Walsh, Federico. I know, but like the better version, right? He's Mike Figueredo that you order from wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, rm brown is there anyone that you would like to cancel or uncancel that is currently canceled or that you would like to uncancel or cancel i don't i can't remember the first one already i forgot i think, I think kanye west has had enough canceling no i'm just kidding kidding uh, I don't know who should be who should be canceled. Who should be canceled or uncanceled? Is there someone you think is unfairly canceled? Mm -hmm. Unfairly canceled. Harry um, Styles unfairly canceled. Fuck no! Whoa. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I, mean, I was gonna say. Comedy that, that's said. bringing it back to the start. That yeah. was good. Yeah. That, that's I was gonna a, say. Like, a trick. What David just did. Yeah, I right. was actually gonna say cancel Beyonce. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're both bringing it back. Yeah. Both of you are bringing it back to the start. Oh, let's get on you. Way. Let's yeah. get her away. In stand up, you're going to get the that's whole good. fucking call podcast back. canceled. Call back. <laughs> you both did a callback. It's great. I say, I say, uh, we uncancel Fox News for publishing that wonderful article by Ooh, Olay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <a> good one. <laughs> Temporarily uncanceled for that fantastic piece they wrote that you wrote. For them, <laughs> apparently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My daddy was like, they're just restating your points. It's, they didn't, they didn't say He's it. right. That's all that was. Yep. That, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're also Who's... uncanceling Blair Illuminati next week maybe well we should say that because she will be back next week so she's officially uncancelled Blair is Miss Mad episode Blair, Blair's out here making the whole white women camp look like they don't they don't show up <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll, that'll be the, the, the debate of topic Blair, next week Blair missed eight, out, 8 out of 10 episodes <laughs> 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 Um, so I wait, say we later. cancel uh, wanna... J J.K. Rowling. No. <laughs> Ooh, <take that> <laughs> Didn't we do that like canceled. three weeks in a row? J.K. Rowling yeah. canceled. Why not? <laughs> do it. Canceled. Who cares? I'll cancel. I want to cancel yeah. uh, Kate Blanchett actually because I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie. I'm Tar. here for this. I watched that movie. Yeah. Tar is a little boring, so canceled. She's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say the message of that movie is kind of like ridiculous. It's kind of like, hey, uh, you know, cancel culture is a real thing. It ha can happen to anybody. But should we take a stand or a position on this? And I thought she was the only good part about it because I was like, she was actually like, it was a good performance. I was like, yeah. hey, she was the only like, yeah. But I agree. I, I agree with the sentence. Even. For no reason other than what was the point? <laughs> like, what's the, what's take the a position. Yeah. What's the synopsis on this movie, just so, just so people know what what Tar is about? Um, so, you know, I, I I watched until basically the very end. I still haven't finished it. This is how stupid it is. I, <laughs> okay, well, then, I paid. The I paid. Means, the ending was pretty important. The ending was boring. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> um, so so I, I a rented it. Okay. cancellation. This is what happened. I rented it on Amazon. To, okay. and it's like whatever it's six dollars to rent it and then i was like that's kind of boring i waited and then it ran out so if i want to see the end i have to pay the six dollars again so i was like oh my god, god wait what it. movie is this again tar, tar. tar. Yeah. it's on if they just added it to hbo max or something i think oh right, shit perfect, doesn't perfect. the new season of you come out at midnight you? i don't watch that show Excuse me, what is wrong it. with y'all, bro? Oh, I never the, the Last of Us is going. Don't forget, The Last of Us is going up tomorrow, which might be midnight because oh, the Super Bowl. Didn't we I don't say, have emotions. I don't have any emotions. Did, didn't I say we should pick the show for us all to watch together so we? Can I like that yeah, idea a lot, Olay. Can we watch The Last of Us? Because I love that show. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. That zombie shit. How many episodes are there already? It's there's very few zombies. It's mostly just about the human experience and love and the story. And let me, and like, oh, it's the third episode is so beautiful, though. It really is. Olay, it's, like, you'll love it. It's it's one of the greatest love stories I've ever seen on TV. I ever, wanted to honestly. talk to you it's, so much, but I so love Lance's joy. Like, the Leo dude, the I, I promise you, I promise you. The third <laughs> episode, the third episode, you could, we could just watch it independently. We could do a live watching of it. My, or my, live my, screening. my one so complaint about that is that it was like one episode too soon. 
We needed another episode. We just How many episodes so far. If I go to go watch this, are y'all all the, watching? The, the, the fifth episode drops tomorrow, so you're only yep. you'd only be four behind. Yep. I was okay, waiting yeah. to watch it until they were all finished because I hate watching seasons that are incomplete. Even oh, yeah. That's the best way. I hate binge watching. You gotta watch. Gotta watch, watch. That's why. That's why. That's why Game of Thrones was so big, and that's why all those shows that do it weekly, like a one a week or so, are so big. The binge watching mm. shows completely blow their load all at once. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is there? Yeah. Uh, it's a fair point. There- is there anybody attractive in the show for me to watch? I don't. Uh, know. Pedro uh, Pascal. Oh, Pedro Pascal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the internet's boy. daddy. Wait. <laughs> um. I will be your champion from Game of Thrones. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Oberlin. Yeah, he's, he's the Viper. I feel like he probably looked dirty in a zombie world, though. He's, like, he's a feel- bisexual <laughs> legend. Come on, he's unreal in that show. It, it, it made so many people. Is that the made, made, I'll, I'll be honest. It made, made a lot of men question themselves. They were like, "Oh shit, yeah, this is." Is that uh, the only I, I like yeah. this. Is that all they have for me? <laughs> no, there's there's, 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 there's more. There's I feel like those. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm familiar with the story. Like you, you will, you will love it. It is such good television. Honestly, it really it's is. It's fun. Like I'm gonna. Watch I, I, I yeah. haven't watched it yet because I, I, I beat the for, I beat the games. So, mm-hmm. like I was questioning, do I need to watch the show if it's exactly the same story? <laughs> but have you watched it? No, no, no. What? Oh my god, David, watch I played it. The it's games. so good. I know. So I did I. I, I. And I love the games. And it was one of those things where like I wanted to be able to give people who don't play video games that story because you know how you can be like watch this movie, read this book, listen to this song. With video games, it's like play sixty plus hours to finish this. And so kind of like, yeah, it's that good though. We should ask Dave, the David's. If we watch that. We'll like what show we should watch that they will they will be okay with weekly commentary about. Mm. Mm, yeah. That's a good there's point. Always, yeah. There's always going to be people that haven't watched anything. Like, y'all should tell us. Y'all should tweet at us something. Um, and, and I will say, us. like, I, this is a. Per- I'm not sure if any of you have this issue, but I have a real problem now watching anything that's like dramatic and depressing and about the end of the world because it feels that's, like no, it feels thing. like my job is covering real I life feel- shit. And so when I watch a show that's depressing, it's like, eh, do I really want to get into that ass? <laughs> the third episode is not point. depressing. It's yeah. beautiful. Like the third episode gives you faith in humanity. It, 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 truly. I know faith you will in love humanity, it. Bro, first of all, it'll, restore it. it'll melt all icy hearts. I promise I've, this. I've you know? dealt with this world. First of all, like, <laughs> give me a fucking break. I'm dealing with this world in the pandemic. These motherfuckers won't even wear a mask to save their fucking life. You think they out here running around fighting zombies and shit? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> like, we're we're going to watch the third episode together live, okay? No, we're going to do it. I, I, I want to see the audience reaction. Right, like a toilet paper. Say this now. No. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I want to watch, like, y'all know, I want eye candy, which is why I have never seen Creed 1 or 2, but I damn sure I'm going to see Creed 3. Oh, yeah, there's there's a lot of eye candy. Listen, wait, wait! You were you were you were worried about catching up to a TV show where you missed like two or three forty-five minute episodes, but you're fine starting at number three of a movie. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> I keep in there that you are not familiar with priorities. Let me tell you about. <laughs> I said nothing about catching up on one or two. I said I'm going to see Creed three. Because no, that's what I mean. That plot looks riveting, and that plot looks like Jonathan Majors. Baby, I am there to look. I'm here to look, baby. Okay, I'm here to enjoy myself. I don't give a fuck what I like. What? Like, let me see that man. You see how good he looks? There's no reason for that man to be that fine. Like, what you talking about? Fine, make your heart race. Every time I every time I see a photo shoot of Jonathan Majors, I'd be like, you know what? Jesus might be a thing. I could see it. Like, I could <laughs> have to be intervening. Like, it would have to would have to be involved. You see this man? He's so fine. Listen, there was a there was a He's tweet. gorgeous. There was a tweet when the Ebony magazine photo shoot dropped. Somebody was like, I'm giggling because I know the Ebony magazine people were setting up this photo shoot like the hoes gonna love this. It's me. I'm the host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the hoes. Cause I saw that and I was like, I'm going to save every picture. Like, what are you talking about? In fact, let me show y'all. Hold on, just so you know I'm not bullshitting. Like, what are you talking about? What are you so fine for? Like, <laughs> what? Like, ooh, you just don't look like this? Off the casual. Why natural. would you watch a show for that? Just look at pictures. <laughs> like, you don't have to watch a whole movie. <laughs> Listen, you're not going to sit up here and act holier than thou. I know there's something you watch, man. It's just, <laughs> you're, not going, you're not above me, David. Like, <laughs> If I'm in that kind of mood, I ain't watching a three-hour movie. I tell you that. Like I'm, I'm gonna go. Look at <laughs> I'm, I'm, 
It takes me five minutes. I'm good. <laughs> what about the plot? <laughs> I have to come back to that. Oh, oh you got me there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What do y'all want to watch? <laughs> let's let's watch Big Brother Canada season eleven. Okay. Oh my god! Ooh. What? <laughs> Why Big Brother Canada? What's that? Is, is it's it, better than the American. They canceled Big Brother Canada. Except I've heard in my the life. last two American seasons. Okay. I've never never seen it. I'm, Wait, we I'm joking. Never... Unless we never discussed who's getting canceled. <laughs> Who's getting canceled? Oh yeah, who's getting canceled? canceled? The Grammys. Dr. Dre. Dr. Oh, Dre. Dr. Dre. Yeah. What he did? Why Dr. Dre? Uh, well, uh, domestic Dr. abuse, physical abuse. Yeah. Yeah, he's a menace. Oh, yeah. Okay. Long, yeah, long documented so. history of physical and domestic abuse. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. like getting away with it, having a like a persona that's been covering up mm -hmm. for a long time. Listen. It, listen okay, it's, that's fair. Listen, I ever tell y'all I love Lance. Thank you, Lance. You listen, you listen, you do your <laughs> listen, you do your part of the white man on the council. Thank you, Lance. I am you, Lance. You, Lance I'm the whitest. <laughs> Lance said, Let me tell you a little bit about his rap sheet. I'll get you all up to speed. Thank you. Thank you, Lance. <laughs> and you saw at the Grammys, they went and created a new award to honor him. And it's just way too much reverence, I think, given to him. I, I will acknowledge the man as an icon in, in terms of his musical contributions, but he is way too, like, I think he's way too foul in terms of what he has done um for us to give him so much reverence and extra honor um knowing he's just it's just something about it ain't sit right looking at all these women get up and like look at him and all on clapping for this man that has abused yeah. so many women not taking care of his chair and like dr dre is real <laughs> trifling like real real fucking trifling and well, I'm just, chris like, chris brown is still out there too wasn't he complaining can i put this comment up real quick this <laughs> man yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Drake. Yeah. That's got to be a typo. <laughs> That's got to be a typo. That's got to be a typo. You're too excited. Yeah, I think forgot about Dirk. got to be a typo. You <laughs> forgot about Dirk. I forgot about Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers were not supposed to forget, but you did. <laughs> I'm crying. That's so also, good. That, that song is a big for the record. Forgot about Dur. <laughs> Doctor Dur. Doctor Dur. Someone asked uh, what what I'm watching since I don't watch you know depressing shit. Uh, uh, White Lotus that was just on. <laughs> Two oh, seasons. how was that? Was White Lotus? I've never gotten season into two. Is it. good. It's, it's, it's good. Fun. It's 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 fun. It's okay. fun. It's good. Okay. okay. I watched an episode. Um, it was all right. Succession also good. That's come back. Succession yeah. rules. I can't yeah. wait for the next. Succession. Yeah, I like seeing rich people tear each other apart. That's that's a fun one. <laughs> yeah, the, and there's something like that. <laughs> Mike <laughs> still is. I'm the doctor. Still D E R. I don't know um, why it's so so triggering yeah, to me. I'm, I'm dying. I'm like literally crying. <laughs> <laughs> it would be uh, dare. When it would be dare. <laughs> when does the I'm I'm probably most excited about success the new succession. That's like uh, the la the last show that I really I got. I think it's next month. Oh hell yeah, okay. A trailer for it, so it's it's coming soon. I yeah, like, those are shows I can get into because it's it's there's, there's still dramas, but they're they're not like you know depressing. And none of you and none of you have watched <laughs> you. Y'all don't watch you. I'm What's you? you? Yeah, I'm, you was I'm what I caught up on you, Abbott Elementary, and it's amazing. I'm the the only reason I know about you is because when I type in YouTube, sometimes I, I I press enter too early, and then I get you, and it's like, oh, this is a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I know that that show even exists. Why have y'all never seen any of the white shit that I watched as incredibly popular? What is wrong? <laughs> you. You, you. It doesn't make sense. I'm out like, so many of Ingram. Laura Ingram has watched you. I know that because I saw a clip when they were talking. She was talking about with a guest. <laughs> Of oh, Fox God. News. What about you? Um. Okay. Well, I can't watch it now. <laughs> um. And y'all definitely don't watch it? Riches or Harlem or Oh my God, this is gonna be so hard Same. for us to find a show that all all of us can watch. You let me see. Let's see who's in. Have that. you guys ever heard of Survivor? I thought that, okay. I know. What's that? Do you just, do you just watch reality that? TV, Mike? I hate Survivor. I don't like. <laughs> I, I, I went on a date with a guy who was obsessed with getting on Survivor. Like this, literally his really? life. Oh my god, what? I fucking survivor and him. It was terrible. 
So oh my god. <laughs> this is the first date he brought this up? Bro, he's obsessed with the Survivor. On the first oh. date, he mentioned Survivor. I feel like, I feel like you don't bring that one up the first date. Thanks, bro. Yes. Oh, Frick, you think I keep seeing oh this? Oh, my God. What's Survivor? Like, terrible. Obsessed with Survivor. You know what it is for your live stream to be able to get on Survivor? Yeah, that's you a weird, can't that's a do weird it. goal. And you can't do it? That's your yeah. goal? And you ain't done it? You oh think right God. now when, like, no one even watches the show anymore that you'd be able to get on pretty easily? <laughs> Bro, you really yeah. care that much to get on. He's not, he was very wacky. He was very, we ended up like, honestly, he was very, like, he was, he was a nice person, but he was, he was nice, but he really genuinely, very few people in the world, I find this out, but they just annoy, he genuinely just annoyed the shit out of me. Like, I just thought he was really annoying. It would bring out the mean in me. Like, I feel the same energy, like, when I'm around, like, children and i know i'm not enjoying this but i have to do it like you know what i mean i have to be nice but my spirit is like oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I, that that's a big like red flag is somebody wanting to be on survivor as a goal, life goal that's like mm -hmm. a, yeah that's a, that's yeah concerning. friendship fall apart yeah he got on my nerves on the wrong day one day out of the week and i just like i was like oh okay I'm gonna lash out a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna lash out a little bit. He'd and, be the first one voted out if he ever gets on. It ain't happening, but if it did, he would be the first voted out. So he should give oh, up that dream. I found you, somebody. Robert? He sounds like someone who came of age 30 plus years ago. A casket came of age 30 years ago, like old. Read it. Y'all know I'm fried. Can y'all translate that text that, that, that in the comments? They I don't say, know what oh, you're reading. Oh, in the in our, yeah, in our I, comment, I, I, it says, Olay, hun, are you a <laughs> casket robber? He sounds like someone who came of age 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> a casket robber. Casket robber, You think he's an old man? No. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the oh, implication. I would have stayed no, with him, yeah. No, I'm not, you know, I've actually never had me an old nigga. Like, Rob, um, that, like, like robbing the grave, basically. No, he was, like 30, he was like 30, 31, a regular loser. Just a regular loser. Just standard run of the mill, you know, mm -mm, not too textbook. Bad textbook loser but night you know a nice person nonetheless you know <laughs> just a huge fucking loser the biggest loser you ever meet good guy but big fucking loser yeah piece of shit hope he's not watching <laughs> I oh, guys, guys, no I idea did. how I give it up. How I'd be like so over shit. I'm not lying to you. Y'all don't know how quickly my spirit be over men. Like, he <laughs> mean, I, swear, I swear to you, I, I saw this man two nights ago, and literally, as I leave his sight and I get out of my text, I'm like, thank you for making the time. I'm no longer going to proceed with seeing you anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, I don't be in the fucking mood. Like, oh. I hear bullshit. Like I can assess things real quickly. Like, oh, this probably isn't gonna be a, a useful way to my like I looked and I was in this I'm, I'm like looking at this apartment and I'm like, hmm, this man is incredibly handsome, but something tells me that you know the man, the man I'm gonna marry wouldn't have commissioned a Kanye piece in 2023. Like that does something, <laughs> tells, mm. ah, something tells me that is not the man for me. Damn. <laughs> I'm looking like a tiny bit of a red flag, just a little bit. And then when I was <laughs> trying to, funny, and you know, when you're trying to have a reasonable Even a year and a half ago, it would have been a little, <laughs> within the realm of, oh, okay. <laughs> like, still <laughs> suspicious, but not as bad. It was big, and it was a big piece. <laughs> it was a big piece. It was big as fuck. I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. Weird. And then when I try, you know, you're trying to shoot somebody a little bit of bail, and you're trying, you know, how you're trying to have the conversation. I'm like, you know, I understand. Like, and the thing with the music, the problem is, is when people want to, you know, take that over, which you think is a genius musically and translates to all these other things which be problematic. And then he said, he was like, well, with you know, genius is different to everybody. It's something that I was like, oh, this fucking nigga, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he had spelled the word edible wrong in our text messages before. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, you know, and I tried to, I tried to overlook it because I was like, this is a handsome, this is a handsome man, but he spelled edible, edible, and it was never no aspect correct. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm Bro, learning he can't right spell. <laughs> No, he can't spell. All right. a thing. He really can't so, spell. So, men, men. You said block him. You know? I already blocked him. Y'all miss it. Y'all Learn from this. Me. I am Olay. Block a man. Oluren. What you talking about? Of course I blocked him. I mean, mind you, like I said, nothing wrong with the, like, you know, I was I was tacking this on to conversations about well-intentioned losers. You know what I mean? Very handsome man. Very handsome man. Just had me a little bit fucked up. Like, there's no way... No, very handsome. Very handsome. Very good. 
nice smile, real fine, a real beautiful work of art. I mean, the man is fine, but the the way you know, I just bad was grammar like, though. <laughs> no, I just that's a deal breaker. That's yeah, a deal breaker. Bad grammar is a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah no, and like I think I could probably deal with like a little bit. Like I could deal with a little bit dumb if it's the appropriate level of like adoration for me. Like I'm not gonna hold you, I'm a Leo. Like you gotta love me up. Like I'm like, oh, you you dealing with me a little bit. Like you feel like you the prize, and that's a little bit fucking crazy. So uh, <laughs> allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm a bitch you don't know anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> so long. This was nice knowing you, but you have me fucked up. I actually, I'm like, oh, okay. He doesn't watch, right? <laughs> You know, like, who like, fucking cares? Good point. Good point. Like, you should, good you should check out my yeah. show. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Days. Yeah. Called if he does watch, spot. he likes me more than I thought he did, and then we we can we can recalibrate the conversation. But I don't, I don't, I don't That's think true. so. Mm. Yeah, but true. no, I I, I do not think so. Mm-hmm. It's for your advice. That... Improve upon it. It yeah. sounds. Yeah. Like, you call him handsome. Yeah, yeah, really yeah call him handsome. He knows he's fine now, so that's so that you know. Don't let it go to your head, though. Yeah, All my you know. niggas handsome. Let's get sorry. Let, let's get RM in here. He's been trying to jump in for a bit. Yeah, oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot what I was gonna say. That okay. about. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I thought like six. Times. I had something. Yeah, I forgot. Well, I think it's time I, to wrap up a little bit. Uh, yeah. So okay, okay. fair enough. We're having too much I, fun as usual. I have, I'm, I'm just getting tired, man. <laughs> <It's lovely laughs> same. No, same. I, I I feel you. Yeah, and to everybody watching, don't forget about Dur. You know what I mean. Don't forget. <laughs> it was dare, I think. Right? I, I, didn't dare. Real, dare? I, 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 I didn't realize dare. this. I didn't realize this. RM dare? doesn't see this. Dare? RM doesn't see this because it's in the I'm private chat on StreamYard. But speaking of, see it. I think we'll see it. <laughs> speaking of Dur, well, the, the the private chat before he jumped in. Oh, okay. Lance messaged in. <laughs> the chat that rm brown was waiting but for some reason he typed is, is oh, that I your, saw is, that is that your, that's not your name is it rm oh. brown is that your name where that's, i don't see it i don't see it a-r-u-n that's what uh Arun? oh Arun. Didn't, didn't pacman call you that or something yeah Arun yeah brown there's a, there's so a wait video. what's the no, story no. to that so, <laughs> oh I heard, okay i heard that yes. sound drop somebody left a uh a voicemail message where they're saying hey you know something about RM Brown, and he and he can't understand what they were saying, so he kept saying Arun. Oh, so, okay. so now, yeah, now everyone calls me. Uh, Arun. I, I have yeah. to say, there is an extra silliness on my end where I didn't realize that Lance was trying to say David, as in David Dole. Arun is in waiting. I thought you were saying <laughs> David Arun is waiting, and I was like, who's David Arun? <laughs> David Arun. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That that's well, I didn't know about that backstory. Can we can we anyone um with the oh soundboard or imagine it in your brains get a daddy can do no wrong for David Backman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> David can, can do, no, do wrong. no wrong. Daddy can do no wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. That lives in my head uh, Generally free. speaking, <laughs> <laughs> every time I hear wrong. generally speaking now, you you've ruined that for me. Chinese yeah. people are Chinese. <laughs> it's ruined. It's ruined. Yes, I, it's funny how often people use generally speaking too. It's like <laughs> I, it, 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 yes. Yeah. I never noticed it before. Now I notice it every time. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> before we go, we should we should let uh RM Brown plug his stuff. And if there's time, we should like play a little totally. bit so people know. It's so plug. fucking good. Oh, plug man, away, so RM. Nice. It's what plug. Jimmy Dore wishes he was in terms well, of comedy. Well, hey, hey, if we're going on down on, along on this train. You guys, I'm all, I'm fans of all you guys. I've been fans of all you guys for a long time too. So I'm the, I'm the newbie here. So I, you know, thank you to all of you. What you're, what you guys. Who's your favorite though? Who are your bigger um, fans? I'm going Olay. I'm going Olay with that one for sure. All, oh. all of you guys. You know, oh, now I love male you, heavy. RM. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Well, we have that in common. Well I like Be careful, though, RM. We know what Olay thinks about nice guys. Big fucking losers. Nice the losers people you've ever seen in your life. Them <laughs> niggas aren't nice. I didn't you hear me say that them man don't like me like that? What you talking about? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got really good grammar in my text messages. You know, everything's really good. He would I never misspell like edible. <laughs> so never like yeah, that's true. He never would. He never would. He never would. He never appreciates never proper me. spelling. Syntax. I like nice men. My problem is men stereotype me to be mean. Men always assume that I'm going to be like a woman that has a lot of like 
ta da 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 and this is not a man who like like bad treatment like come after me i'm real nice like i'm a real uplift you leo energy bitch like if you're my friend if you're my man it's all love it's all uh and so it's not you say something mean to me and i'm like all right i gotta be gone i gotta you, you're not nice to me let's what if they're really nice to you but they just hold the opinion that beyonce is overrated <laughs> <laughs> I'll break here, obviously. They don't like you. What if they don't like the you program? That's fine. They can not like you, but I know that ass of for me can't think beyond it. No. Mm -hmm. That's not, not a man with sense. Like, my God wouldn't want me to follow. Like, the father of my children can't be a hater. So, no. Um, I see y'all asked in the comments if I'm doing tea time with Olay. Y'all tell me. I was going to not and do it next week and resume next week. If y'all really want me to do it in the comments, say it. I can do it, but I was going to resume next week because I felt like being lazy. So y'all tell me. Here we go. Sorry. I, the whole time I've been looking for this clip that I saved from RM Brown show. This is from, oh this is from June. Oh, boy. Here we go. But this is a clip that I... Speaking, <laughs> of, can speaking of canceled, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I, I forget what's in this clip, but clearly I loved it because I, I cut it out and put it on Twitter. <laughs> so there's a reason no. why I did that. Oh, thank um, you. That's so nice. Here we go. So this is a little taste of what RM Brown does. Our basic entry course for teachers and for everyone is called Protector. It's Protector One course. <laughs> and we shoot, we fight. Yeah. Um, how to keep blood in the body. Oh, yeah. you know, tourniquets. <laughs> this is one of the dumber episodes of an already kind of garbage dump of misinformation program. Sorry, Joe. You know, sorry, not sorry. Pendejo. They get into the Uvalde shooting. And, th and his solution, we weird coincidence, is courses that he sells for two hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents <laughs> on his website. These are these are these are grade school teachers, and you're going to teach them to be the expendables. Hey, barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to do the head, you know, in movies where the guys and the guy dies from that. You're going to teach them to do that. I think maybe we, you know, people are talking about red flag laws. I think we need red flag laws for action movies. Hey, my husband's been watching Under Siege and Under Siege 2 on a loop over and over again. I think he's going to start suggesting things that make no sense. What's that? Yes, he is surrounded by treat wrappers. Yes, yes. Yep, at Charleston Chews. Charleston Chews, empty Red Bulls. And now a clip from my new course, John Claude oh my God. Prep for kindergarten <laughs> teachers. Okay, you mother. Welcome to my $250 program. Now, this is one of what we call your main resource tactics. You have a book, you're a teacher, you have a book, right? You got the head tilted, you got the head tilted this way, you got the book. You get... <laughs> the book is going to go like. <laughs> so and it's going to do a flare, flare out formation. You know, and the perpetrator is going to see some of those words. Maybe it's a Spanish book. He's like, oh, what's that say? Como te amas? You know, while he's looking at como te amas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, always, Jesus Christ. It's always nice to hear the sound of your own voice. You know, you never cringe at that. You know? Right. No, <laughs> always I, I feel you. Always you edit cringe. your videos. You must hear it all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> to torture. It's, tor it's a nightmare every day. <laughs> but yeah, oh my thanks God. for playing that. Thanks for playing that. that was really yeah, cool. so uh, just search just search RM Brown on YouTube. You guys will find it. In yeah, the chat. thank yeah. you. And thanks for, for having me. Care. I want to come on here more. How often do you guys do this? Every Thursday. Every, every Thursday. Every Thursday. Can I come back, or was this kind of a lackluster performance? No, you're, you're always welcome back, huh? Well, no, no, no. It, 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 that, that depends on the chat. Chat. Now, play, the, 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 play the suspension music. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, Let's dun. do this demo. Mike, you, you have it. You love reality TV. Play, play the scary music I don't, right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> I watch Big Brother Canada like TV. Okay, let's not characterize me as a reality television <laughs> show. Okay. Mike, 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 Mike like, loves all that. Mike loves all that garbage. I, 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 would watch TV shows. Like, I feel like I could see Mike getting into like, I could watch black reality TV shows with Mike. I could feel it. I could feel it in my spirit, Mike. Like, I feel okay, okay. It looks like I'm getting some positive reinforcement in the chat. So I'm the type of person where if, all, if all I see chat. something, all I can just chat. watch it and veg out, okay? I'll say that. Yes. But don't don't think chat. I'm some sort of fucking reality TV show watcher, I, okay? I love, I'm going to tell you right now, I love reality TV. I love all things bird shit. Yes, I love it. I love all that low, bra low vibrational stupid <laughs> shit. I love it. Give me all that. Like, Do you watch Big Brother, Olay? <laughs> no, but I did watch. I watched like the, um, like the clips of the season with New York on it. Um, mm. like, oh, okay. I didn't... 
See, I didn't watch the uh, the UK one. I only watched like the US and Canada. I'm one. going to send you just like a compilation video of New York's best. I love New York though. She's fucking hilarious. Hello. When I said, if you see the scene where she's like, somebody must have told her that she was fly and sexy and she is nothing of the sort. <laughs> the sort. Oh, the- I saw yeah. that clip. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, oh my uh. God. It is, Have it you is guys crazy. seen that clip? What is it like? A flavor of love reunion, or I love New York. We're talking about that New York, right? Yep. It's yeah. it's right. like the reunion where they're on stage and it's just a fight the whole time. It's one of the best. The whole ever. time I, she, I, she's I, just I, challenging everybody. She's like, "You fight." Yes, you cannot, but, oh. yes, Tiffany that is, Pollard, Kelsey. That oh. is the reunion for um, Flavor of Love season two. Yes, oh. please understand. Mm-hmm. I have seen. I only saw every season one. Show that Tiffany Pollard done. Yep. All, laws, all that I love New York. Tiffany Pollard takes, you know, um, takes Hollywood, all of it. That yeah. I watched it. Tiffany, um, the one she do on VH1 with the interview. Oh, I, all of it. Yeah. I know. People, I sat people... down and just watched YouTube videos. Like back when the autoplay feature was better and the algorithm wasn't broken. Yeah. I like there was one night where I just sat down for like four hours watching Tiffany Pollard videos. It's like <laughs> clips so after clips and like remixes of uh, when that girl, I forgot her name, Pumpkin, I think spit in her eye. And like yeah. remixes to that just over and over. Like she's fucking hilarious. Well, Bro, people, I think people think of her as just a bad guy, you know, but she has a remarkable amount of confidence to like mm-hmm. just go after like no there's no there's no self-doubt with New York. She's she's just like, I'm right, you're wrong, you know. She's it's, an anti-hero, totally. Yeah, like exactly. yeah, no one thinks she's a bad guy. This funny, but she's the queen of reality TV. We love her. And the best part is, you know, nobody. She was she literally there was no casting agent or found her and she walked in off the street into the casting call like didn't nobody knew her or anything and she just a star porn a star a star and her was mom star. is also a star too yes yes <laughs> like her mom is part of this whole universe and she is almost as like good as as Tiffany herself Patterson is amazing all right well you're also, I put I in a, plug my thing put in my um I put it in our in our DMs um all my want to plug is my episode of the Daily Zeitgeist I dropped today. And mm. my Instagram page, Making Makes Sense. Y'all should follow where I debunk laws, all these videos I'm doing on cop city and felony murder and all the information and infographics and things I've been putting out on all things content. You should follow that page. Fox y'all News. can take a link for me and put it in the chat for me. Y'all can tell <laughs> me I can't do it. It's in our DMs. David, you do that. Oh, DMs. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was, David, it was with it in the chat. Yes. I'll find it. I'll find it. Well, y'all, may, maybe I'll see you uh, next Thursday if you'll have me back. All right. Yes. Anytime you want. Bye, yeah. RM. Sounds good. Yep. Take bye. care. Thanks See for you. dropping by. All right, guys. I guess this is where we all uh, say goodbye link. to, yeah. right? Yeah. I've shared the link. I love Thursdays. Yes. They're fun and funny. And Thursdays they, they are make me feel fun. better. Yeah, remember, y'all. Y'all should feed yeah. us with shows y'all think we should watch. Oh, yeah. Because I don't... Awesome. Like, I feel like if we pick... We're just going to, like, pick something bad. Like, it has to be audience curated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pick something. Y'all pick something so it's something y'all won't complain that we're talking about. Something y'all but watch too. I will veto the fucking what is that show that everyone is watching right now uh, with Kevin Costner? What's that? Uh, oh, Kevin, I didn't know Kevin Costner was a show, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. That's an old white man. I think it's fine. So, Yellow something. Uh, Yellow Costner. I'm gonna vote in his favor. How old is he? Yellowstone. That's any fine as hell. He's been Kevin Costner been fine all his life. He's been around for like he was big in the yeah. '90s. Now he's like, yeah. I guess he's doing more stuff. I, I love him in Robin Hood because <laughs> he's the only person who like he doesn't have an accent. He's just like he was that big of a movie star at that period where it's like every other character is doing a British accent, and he's like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And it's like that's going to be really weird because you're the only person with an American accent taking place in the story where everyone should be speaking with a British accent, but we can't do anything about it because you're Kevin Costner. So let's just fucking let's make the movie. Let's do this shit. Let's let's have the whole thing. And he's the only character with an American accent the whole time. It's like, and hey, should you walk through the door? He's like, yes, yeah, I'll do that right now. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. No, the Prince of Nineham. I see. Like that's wild. That's you don't see that anymore. Everything. You know. That's it. Can it be an old show? Shouldn't it be a new show? Because someone said Dexter. Because mm. I feel like oh, y'all have all watched Dexter, right? Yeah. I've seen Dexter. Yeah, I've seen it all. Oh, yeah. Dexter's yeah. Lab's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Dexter. you mean Dexter the Serial Killer? Oh, yeah. That, that, that show's good until this, like, the <laughs> last two seasons. And then They're, the, the yeah. last season is garbage. Yeah. That show peaks in season four. And then it's yeah. just kind of downhill. Never seen it. Yeah. You've never seen Dexter? I'm so surprised mm-hmm. by that, Tinder. Wow. 
The reboot was very, <laughs> not a reboot, but the new blood was very good. The last season that they you, did. You give off a you like serial killer shows vibe. <laughs> I'm a big TV person, actually. I think people think I am, but I'm just yeah. I'm not you're more of a watcher. gamer, right? No, no, not, not even. No, no. I watch a lot of movies. Not really a TV oh, okay. person. Um, Severance is amazing. I agree, Chad. Severance is very, very good. If, if you ever watch Severance, good. watch it. Severance That's is unreal. really good. If you ever want, uh, you know, what's Richie? wrong with capitalism? Oh yeah, I know. Severance, Severance is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Richie Severance is amazing. On Prime, Riches is so good. Riches, is Riches. Good. Yeah, it's fantastic. What about um? I've heard really good things about Succession. Oh, it's great. Yeah, fantastic. Amazing. Succession, but... Okay. Couldn't get it's amazing. Yeah, fair enough. I wasn't against it, but the person I was watching it with wasn't interested, so that's why I didn't finish. Mm. Um, uh -huh. I watch all the powers. I'm actually... My good friend um, is the is Uncle Lulu on Raising Kanan, Malcolm Mays. I love the powers. Um, so... Yeah, so I'm looking at I'm I'm reading the comments. Y'all know I'd be in the chat. So how are we gonna do this? Like, is it one episode per week? I feel like, like a book club where we come back and yeah, I feel like we gotta all be like up to wait. You know what? Y'all could go. Have y'all did, did y'all watch the new show Bel Air? Like the the new no, I haven't seen it actually. Mm -hmm. the, the reboot. I haven't I seen it. Feel, it's actually amazing. Like I was really shocked. Really, I really okay. yeah. I thought it was me. Like they did it a whole like a. How far are you though? It's so good. Well, there's only one season that's out so far. I haven't started the second season, but I'm saying oh, okay. we could start that. We could watch that together and start from. I could catch up. Okay, could, yeah. I feel like I'm caught up on Abbott Elementary. It was darling. It's really cute. See? Abbott is great. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, caught I'm, up, I'm, I'm for Bel Air. What do you think about that in the audience? Shameless was good, but Shameless is mad. How long are the episodes? Yeah, Shameless is so long. That's what it's I said. The same it's problems so over and over and over and over. Both like the British and the American show. Yeah, Shameless. I will say though that Lip, um, Lip Gallagher is. You know, when I first started watching Shameless, when on the first episode, I was like, "This is the ugliest person I ever did see," and now I'm like, <laughs> and then I don't know when it turned, but I was like, "This man is so fucking fine. It's crazy how fine." Is this he man the is. chef guy? If he's the guy yeah. from Chef, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. know when it when it flips, but yeah, yeah. I totally agree with you. Yeah, I, totally I was like, with you, he's so ugly, and then he was suddenly yeah. so fine. Yeah, like, I don't know what it is. The bear, thank you, the bear. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. He's fine. He's fine as hell. You know what would be a really fun episode, like kind of a non-political episode? Have you ever heard of the game What the Dub? It's kind of like uh, the Jackbox games, but basically they play old movie clips, and then you sign in on your phone, and then you um, you basically get to choose what you want to say. And then you vote on like the funniest ones. That could be a fun like extra stream or like a you know a um, non political stream for us. That one's that one's pretty fun because yeah. we got to have like a game night at some point, right? I agree. I agree. Yeah, I'm all Let's for figure it out over DMs because I got I got okay. I got to get out of here. Like I have to <laughs> okay, bed. I can't. All I right, can't fair enough. Fair enough. Bye all. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye everybody.